Yahoo! Ready for it. Are you ready for it? Hello, hi, how are you? What's going on? Hello? How have you been? What's new? Are you guys ready for more Dreamlight Valley? Just when you thought this game was going to be a little preview content, your Animal Crossing lover friend over here, the provider of all tips and tricks Animal Crossing, the king of Animal Crossing, has fallen in love with this game because it, it checks all the boxes for me. Anyway, good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, in case you guys haven't downloaded this game, go and do it. We got some stuff happening, right? Yeah. Where'd my music go? No music? Okay. Can you... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no music. All right, cool, whatever. Get my stamina back. All right, good to see you guys. Hello, hello. Yeah, so there's a lot of things going on, man. I, I gotta get you guys caught up. I really do. So, like, low-key, I've been playing this game a lot off-screen, but I haven't been advancing the story. I know that a lot of you guys wanted to explore the story, and you guys might be using this as a walkthrough. Like, I get it. I 100% get it. Um, I built some other things over here. Ooh, look at this. Tomatoes, baby. Ooh, ooh. I'm ready for some tomates. Um, yeah, so we've done a lot. So uh, if you guys are ready, I'll give you guys a rundown of what uh, what I kind of done. Give me some big hype in the chat if you guys are excited for it. I know I am. I got a lot of money. Uh, I have a lot of money and a lot of dream light, and I haven't spent it all. So we've got over 100,000 star coins. Uh, we've got 18,000 dream light. Uh, so there's just, there's just a lot. Uh, a lot more things to do. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna jump on in. It's good to see you, Christy, Mel, Gemma. Ooh, that's my team right there. And, ooh, and look who shows up. Yo, this is great. Yo, H. Fenton over here. Sky Fox, hello, Alley Cat. Uh, Laney's here, Bex. Oh, you get, this is when the, this is when the real crew comes out. They say, forget Splatoon 2, man. I don't understand anything about that game. I know about raising crops, making money, making friends with villagers. Yeah, I've done that all throughout quarantine. Trust me. All right. It's good to see you guys. Uh, Rihanna C. Man, Link in the house too. Vil the Pirate, Chrissy the Failed Beta. Hellos. Hellos to all of you. All right. If you guys are ready, let's jump into this. Uh, I hope that you guys have a great time uh, along with me. It's going to be uh, super fun. Welcome back. It's Abdallah here with more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Just when you thought uh, we were done. No way. We got tons more happening over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what exactly I've been up to for a little bit. Let's get you caught up. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go over to the furniture section. We're going to go out. I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, so right over here, this is the meadow, right? So this is the meadow, and uh, I found out more recently that if you plant um, seeds in their native biome where you buy them, they'll grow a little bit faster. Honestly, I'm not trying to min-max time on farming. Carrots will grow whenever I need them to. I don't mind. Uh, so I've been doing a couple plots over here. These are like 20 plots. So there's a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, probably like 120, 140. Anyway, so that's pretty great. I found out that you can move the wishing well wherever you want to. Um, I cleared out a lot of stuff. Uh, we've got a lot of things still happening over here. So uh, one of the other things I've done was I made all the trees in one little area over here. So in case I need to farm any of the soft wood, I'll have a lot of them over here that I could just walk through. Uh, likewise, this is the plaza over here. We've seen the plaza. Um, I've had a couple things right over this way, uh, which are the actual trees. I've gone through, and this is my initial garden that I had over here. Um, we've got Shea Remy. I brought Merlin over here because of, eventually I want to bring all the people's houses inside the plaza. Because there's really no point in growing any food inside the plaza outside of free stamina over at your house over here. So there's really no point because there's nothing that gets boosted out of the plaza. Um, outside of that... Um, we have Goofy's house. I put Goofy's house over here, right next to Scrooge. And then we have uh, Wally's truck. So pretty interesting. Um, the thing that we kind of left off on last time was a little bit of a cliffhanger of what was happening inside the beach. Uh, if you take a look right over here in the beach, uh, we haven't actually gone inside this cave with all of our gems yet. So that being said, we got the gems. We got the amethyst, the peridot, and the topaz, I think it was. Uh, so let's jump inside there and continue the story. Uh, really excited for it. So anyway, good to see you. I gotta feed a critter, man. Hold on. What do I got? Raspberries? Yo, I don't think I own a carrot. 
Do I own a carrot? I got a carrot. Come here, little guy. Get over here. Give me that. Okay, fine. Um, I also found out not too long ago that if you feed the critters enough, if you feed the critters enough, you'll be able to have them as your actual companions. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Pokemon, where you see the squirrel that's over here by me, um, or you see this bunny that's over here by me, like, if I feed him enough, he'll be a companion for me, which is actually really, really cool. So you gotta collect them all, right? So let me see, let me see if I get them. It's really hard to, like, approach them. I don't know if it's the game glitching or something like that, but I really want, I want to approach you, but they're being a little difficult. Anyway, look at this little bunny. Come here, dude. I gotta, I literally have carrots in my pocket for you, dude. All right, whatever. Yeah, they won't do chores for me. No, they're not like the elves in Harvest Moon. I wish that was the case. Um, one of the things that I want to do is because I was doing a lot of farming, right? You guys know me. I was like huge into farming. Like I want carrots going, 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 right? Um, so I got 102,000. What I'm going to be doing right now is uh, leveling up my house. So let's do that. Are you fancy an improvement on your house? I can give you more storage space and more rooms. I'll also add an upper floor. With all that, you'll be able to rest up lickety split. So we're going to spend 20,000 to improve the house. And the reason why I want to do this is because I need the interior storage. So there's that. Wow, that's pretty loud. Cool. I want the... Wow, that's a two-story house. Okay. Great. How much for the next upgrade? Okay. 75,000. I could, but I need money. I need, I need money. Maybe another time. Let, let, let's see what's going on. Let's take a look at this two-story house over here. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Uh, so let's jump inside here and check. Uh, expand. Uh, floors Y. Add a floor for 3,000. Dude, that's chump change. I make 3,000 in like a stack of carrots, dude. Here we go. We're going to add a new floor. Boom. Uh, yep, that was great. So now that we have a new floor, we can expand the main room. I'll spend 2,000 to make the main room bigger. And then now we can do an upstairs. We can make basic rooms for all of these. Uh, so, I mean, if you have 6,000, you can kind of make some rooms over here. But I'm just going to do like little baby rooms here. So we added rooms to the house. I'm going to go ahead and uh, claim all my dream light for it. Boom, boom. And then I want to see how much storage I got from that. Oh, dude, that's great. Yes, 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 yes. So one of the things that I've been doing is uh, any kind of like crafting material or cooking material. I've been trying to make a full stack inside of my interior storage so I can use that for cooking, right? Um, so like I got a full stack of uh, corn, full stack of lettuce, carrots, uh, basil, I'm almost at a full stack, um, oregano almost there, we got sugar cane, like, uh, and then of course coal ore in order to cook. So like, this is great. So I would highly recommend doing that. Um, other than that, like, I'm, I'm good. Like, this is really great. I love the amount of storage on there. But likewise, here's a little trick that you can use in order to not necessarily use storage space, right? You see all my gems over here? If you throw things on the ground, they're literally going to stay there. Like, you don't even have to worry about them getting picked up or, or despawned or anything like that. So I have like all my precious gems over here because I don't need them in my storage. Um, I just really need one of each of these, I think. Yeah, 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 I think that's it. I think these are the colors that I need. And you could just kind of like make your own little storage area over here. And likewise, if you're worried about running out of like foods, take a stack of 50 carrots and throw it on the ground like you would in Animal Crossing. So good. Um, anyway. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. That's a pretty cool tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I like that tip a lot. So what we need to do is we need to head on over to Dazzle Beach. Let's do that and uh, fast travel over there. It's been a little bit. I've been trying not to play or advance the story unless uh, I was here with you guys. So let's knock it out. Here we go. Do it, do it, do it. Here we go. Ooh. All right. So remember, in this part, we needed a couple things. You need the uh, you need the garnet, uh, and then you also need the aquamarine. There we go. Great. So we were able to move through here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's find out what this next thing is. 
discover the right crops uh, to grow to continue below. One is underground, the other golden brown. What remains is red and round. Okay, okay. Uh, one is underground, like a carrot. A uh, golden brown is probably corn. Golden brown, yeah, probably corn. And then red and round is tomato. So I just need some seeds. Uh, I I have carrot seed. I mean, I got one. Let me just uh, let me just put the carrot seed over here. I think one of them's carrot. Oh, I gotta press the A button to plant the seed. All right, let's go carrot. Uh, and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get out of here and let's go get uh, the rest of the stuff. So it's gonna be tomato. It's gonna be um, corn seed. So it should be good. Should be good. Here we go. Love it. Okay, uh, next up. Let's warp out of here. Uh, actually, do I need to? Yeah, 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 I'll warp out of here. We're going to go over to the... Um, yeah, we'll go to Peaceful Meadow. Just like fly on out. Great. Okay, so I need a... Okay, so we got a carrot seed. And then we need the other seeds over here. I can harvest all of these tomatoes if I want to, but I don't really want to waste time doing that. We got plenty of, uh, plenty of money. Although I'm not going to, I'm not going to say no to this. Absolutely not. I need a buddy too. Oh, is Wally my buddy? I think Wally is a buddy, but I don't think he's my buddy right now. I got to work on some other points, like with Merlin. Yeah. Yo, you... Is he following me? Okay. I need a designated buddy. Uh, who's good? Merlin Von Merlinson? Who's... Yeah, Merlin's level 8. Yeah, let's go to Merlin. He could join me. He's kind of like... I don't know. He's not really that exciting of a buddy, to be honest. Wally is way more exciting, so let's go knock that out. Yo, Merlin, what you doing with this stuff in front of your house? Thought I'd clean that up. Ooh, is it a wheat seed? Oh, it could be a wheat seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking corn, but, you know, now that you think about it, it's absolutely wheat. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, golden and brown is definitely wheat. That's right, that's right. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? I've got my... Okay, so I did the carrot seed. Whoa, cool. I did carrot seed. We're going to do wheat seed. We're going to do tomato seed. So that's fine. So let's do that. All right, thanks, Goof. Well, hi there. All right, we're gonna do one wheat. We're gonna do one carrot. Uh, and then we gotta go find elsewhere. I like how Goofy just teleports away. He's like, I'm out of here. There is the weird apparition of Minnie, which we haven't figured out yet. What's going on? We'll find out soon. What if golden and brown is a potato? I don't think so. There's no potatoes yet, but we do need the tomato. Okay, great. So this, uh, you can move the stand anywhere you want to, which is super fun. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. Move the stand a little bit closer to there, and let's go plant these seeds, and then figure out what we're going to do while we wait for them to grow. Merlin was already in the cave, man. He's already scoping it out. All right, can I get my gems back, please? I need to sell those. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't even water it. What a guy. We're going to plant the wheat. We're going to plant the tomato. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do watering. So one. Great. Okay, so now if we look at our collections for ingredients, carrot takes literally 15 minutes from now in order to grow. Uh, the tomato takes 25 minutes to grow. Great. Um, and then we also have uh, the wheat that grows like in literally one minute. So in 25 minutes, we'll have to come back um, over here and see exactly what's going on. So now we know what's happening. We're good. Let's, uh, let's go and find something else to do, right? There's still tons of things to knock out. So really excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's see what's up. Okay, so now that we planted those seeds, uh, let's multitask, right? Who else do we need to mess around with, right? We got uh, Wally was someone that I really wanted to to figure out. So let's go uh, to this one. 
craft a trellis, craft a burlap bag. I don't know if I can. Um, I don't know if I have any of those ingredients. So let me go find Wally really quick and I'll ask him to elaborate on what those things are. A trellis is like a type of uh, flower, isn't it? A burlap bag? What are the ingredients needed there? All right, so we're gonna go over here. Uh, I'm gonna warp over. We're gonna go make Wally our little friend for a little bit. And if we can't do that, then we'll do someone else's. Okay. Okay, directive. I'm still gathering seeds, dirt sacks, and trellis. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't really know how to craft trellis, but let's look. Okay, uh, you need... Uh, f I don't think you need fiber. A dream light? Study chair? Oh, this is it. Three soil? Oh, man. Okay, I could do that. White and pink falling penstemon? I could do that. Trellis. And then you need uh, fiber? Uh, I don't know what burlap bags are, but isn't this a trellis right here? Why do I have to craft it? I own them. <laughs> like, Mickey, get out of my backyard, dude. All right. Um, so, trellis. I need soil. Um, soil. I have the other stuff. What else do I need? I'm sorry. Uh, white and pink falling penstemons. White and pink falling penstemons. What the heck? All right, so this is foraging. Isn't it? White and pink, white and pink, white and pink. Uh, white and pink in the plaza. Okay, so white and pink is this what I need. And then, um, yeah, so we got to go find those. So it's going to be somewhere floating around the plaza. White and pink. These are the blue ones. Come on, Wally. Let's go. Let's hang out. Later, old man. All right. What do we got? What do we got? This is it, right? I don't think that's it. No, maybe. I don't know. So it's like a little gardening. Ooh, this one looks like it. Uh-huh. I think that was it. Ooh, this one could be it, too. I don't know. I need a couple of them. That's a lot. You, you're now looking at this, and it's like, okay... Let me take a look at my inventory now. White and pink? This. This is a white and... I only had one of those. This one's a red falling penstemon. penstemon. This one is a white and pink one. Dang it. So the only thing that I can do is like hope and pray that if I pick up all this stuff, then um, I don't know. Maybe more will spawn out. I don't know. It's kind of lame. I thought I'd be able to do this one real quick, but... Hindsight is twenty twenty. I should be like holding on to a stack of literally everything. But I was broke. I didn't have like the cool storage in my house. So let's pick all these up and see what we got. Give me some more, man. And it's only available in the plaza, these things over here. So Wally, man, we might have to like ditch your quest. We might have to ditch his quest for another one. Ooh, unless this is it. I don't know behind Mickey's house like come on man you think I want to be out here going through collecting flowers well guess what I only have one <laughs> dang it dude all right if I pick up the other ones and maybe new ones will spawn that's it oh man yeah of course we can craft chess man but I don't like crafting unless I'm forced to man and now I'm forced to I like throwing stuff on the ground. Haven't you seen my Animal Crossing Island? Great. You think I need this money? Yeah, you can totally uh, craft in bulk in this game too, which is real cool. But, oh, dang. Cool. Didn't realize. Collect all of them and you get something cool? Hey, 135 bucks. Great. All right. So, Wally, I don't think I can help you, my friend. Uh, burlap bags? See, that's what I'm more curious of. Let's go find out. So, since I don't have those... Let me see the squirrels, though. Dude, squirrels. Oh, my friends. Alright, what's a burlap bag? Why does he need fiber? Oh, stone, soft wood. Dude, oh, burlap bag. Soil and 20 fibers? No actual way! There's no way I can do that. 20 fibers and each of the fibers is um 
one five fibers is one seaweed so i need like four seaweeds all right i guess i can go try to get some seaweed all right all right and then we can get some fiber and then we can do soil and that yeah, yeah i think i think that's fair <laughs> dude seaweed though let's talk about that is this a pink no man still not still nothing man that's a lot of fiber, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna try it. You can get some seaweed just by fishing in empty spots. Let's see if this works. Yo, I didn't want to fish. Yo, I just want I want seaweed. And you can find seaweed on the shores of the the beach too. Dude, I'm not here for fish. Fiber, man. There we go. There we go. Get some seaweed. Great. Love it. Although, if I'm out here fishing for seaweed, I should have Goofy next to me. All right, dude. Where's Goofy? Goof Troop, where are you at, man? Oh my gosh, Goofy, dude. Come on, Goof. Come on, Goof. Goofy, Goofy, Goofy. He's up here. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's got a quest over there, too, that uh, we're just about done with, so. All right, Wally, I'm going to abandon you for now, but I'm not... I didn't forget about you. I just need Goofy as my partner, because he'll throw out some extra stuff. He'll throw out, like, a free seaweed as well. Like, Goofy's really good. All right, Goofy. Gorsh! Holly there, pal! Alright, so I finished a warm welcome. I mean, it was an old quest, but sure. Uh, starting a scrapbook. Uh, yeah, okay, that's great. I'm very creative. Um, he wants some pictures of stuff, but I'm, I'm not really into Goofy's quest, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hang out with him. Alright, photographic memory is one of Goofy's quests. Again, accessed it don't really uh have the bandwidth for that right now sorry goofy i'm trying to do wally's stuff because wally is actually cool gorsh all right you ready goofy let's go you better fish with me boy did you guys tell me if goofy's a dog or a cow all right now throw one thank you yeah yo let's buy one get one today let's go seaweed Goofy's a dog? Mm. Give me that seaweed, boy! Look at that, yeah! What a, what a best friend over here, this guy. Oh, yeah! Give me another one. Thanks, guy. Great. Love that. Thank you, my friend. Okay. So, Goofy is confirmed a cow, right? Just kidding. Let me get some free stamina, then we're going to do some crafting. <laughs> get ready. All right, here we go. Do some fiber. We're going to we're gonna do some fiber. How many fibers do I need? 40 fiber? 35? Whatever. Just give me all the fiber. Sack, hay bale. Hay bale? That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for burlaps. Oh, now we make rope. No, I'm not looking to make rope. I'm looking to make burlap bags. Okay, so I need soil. Ten things of soil. I usually just throw away all my soil every time. So I need to find Wally now. Because Wally is my digger. He's my digger boy. Uh, and Merlin is too. You know what? Come here, Merles. I call Merlin Merlinda sometimes. Don't ask. Goofy, man. Alright, let's hang out, dude. Later. You can stay inside Merlin's. This is honestly the best game. Here we go. Gorsh! Alright, we're just gonna do some digging, not undig. Merlin, you like that, huh? One soil? 
There's two soils. Yeah, yo, he's spawning soil out of nowhere. He's not digging. This old man. Thank you. That's a lot of soil right there. Okay, okay. That was good amounts of soil. Is that enough soil? Oh, dude, I got 17 soils. I'm going to do a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just going to make sure we have about like 20. Honestly, like, I don't like digging up this landscaping. Especially because you have to re-dig it. So I think when it comes to score... If you guys are keeping score from Animal Crossing to uh, versus Disney Dreamlight Valley, I think Animal Crossing wins in this aspect because there's no way of like undoing the dig spot unless you manually go over here. I mean, it feels good that you don't have to spend any stamina undoing it, but I would really like to, I don't know, grab like a house in the editor, in the overworld editor, put it on top of that plot, and then get rid of that. Or if they just like naturally went away after X amount of time. I think that would be pretty good. But we'll see. We'll see. So Animal Crossing has got Disney Dreamlight beat just in that element. Everything else, Disney Dreamlight is, is the game. You're just missing the cute animals. But in lieu of cute animals, you have all the Disney characters that you know uh, so well. So I guess that's the trade-off, right? All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do furniture. I'm gonna do sacks, burlap, bags. How many does he need? One? Wait, 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 one burlap bag? What do I, what, do, how many do you need, Wally? You need three? Oh my gosh. You need three burlap bags. Dude, you're, you're, you're a guy. This is insane. I need more fiber for burlaps, dude. I should have calculated that a little bit better. I'm gonna need a lot more fiber. I'm gonna need, a, yeah, way more fiber. So, Goofy, where you at, man? And then I need a lot more soil, too. So, I might as well just, like, dig it up. Now that I got Merlin with me. So, yeah. This Wally quest is gonna be pretty intense. So, let's do our best. Getting whatever soil we can. I gotta go get some more seaweed. Lots of it. Who at home can do some quick math on how much I actually need, right? Gosh. Goofy! Yeah, we gotta... There's some attention that needs to be paid over here. Goofy's shopping until he's dropping. I swear he's always in here. Gorsh. All right. Let's hang out, dude. I need more seaweed. Here we go. All right. Let's do a Gorsh guy. We're going, man. Goofy. Oh, I need food. Okay. Don't worry. I got food. I got raspberries. I've been eating raspberries a lot recently. Because I moved all my raspberry bushes, like, right over here, and I just munch on them. Gorsh! Yeah, dude, Goofy, give me one. No, don't cheer. Nope, don't need a fish. And no, I don't need you to catch me a, a stray fish. I need seaweed, guy. Nope. He's grilled fish over here. They're just chilling. They're not even flopping. So does Goofy like... <laughs> That's the one I need. Thanks, Goofs. Thanks, Goof Troop. Oh, man. Yo, just keep on throwing those grilled fish over there, man. I got this. I <laughs> love this guy. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Level 23, baby. All right, I love it. Thanks, buddy. But I'm not looking for that. What's the ingredients for ingredients for trellis now? 
dude, I should like literally open up a notepad, do the math, and then go from there. That's what it feels like I need to be doing. Thank you, thank you. Give me a couple seaweed. There we go. There we go, Goofy. Nope, don't eat fish, but I'm taking them. Gorsh. Goofy's excitement level is that of like 11 out of 10 for everything. It was so funny. One time I bought a piece of wheat from his stand for literally one star coin. I spent one star coin on him and he was just, he was going crazy. He's like, yeah, awesome, great. Goofy, man. Look at him. Yeah, Goofy is my favorite cow. He's my favorite cow character. You know, there's not too many cow Disney characters. <laughs> Give me one. Nope. Dude, I'm going to go one more seaweed and then I'm going to go reassess. <laughs> Come on, Goofy, he cow, man. Clarabelle cow, that's right. Gorsh. Dude. Uh, oof. Yo, your boy needs to eat something other than raspberries this whole time. Let's go. Seaweed. Nope. This is just basic fish, man. Not into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one. Dude. Okay, fine. I think I have enough. I'm going to pick up my fish. We have Goofy. Let's take a look. Seaweed. Uh, I've got nine of them. So let's go to the crafting table and let's knock it out. Yeah, I don't know. I can't confirm or deny whether or not Goofy is a dog or a cow. A lot of people like to think he's a, he's a dog, but what if I told you? One of the secrets of Disney. Okay, we got a lot of... 45 fiber? Is that going to be enough? Burlap bags. Oh, yeah, dude. Check this out. I just need two more burlap bags. Okay, okay, we good? We good? Oh, yeah, yeah, now I gotta craft a trellis. Come on, come on, what do I need for trellis? White and pink penstemons? Oh my gosh, not this thing again. Hmm. Just when I thought I was done. They don't naturally grow as fast. Come on, Wally. You gotta do that to me? Come on, guy. All right, he needs these flowers that only grow over here, and I doubt, I doubt I'll be able to get them. It's okay. You know what? We can hold on to these items for Wally uh, whenever we're ready for him, right? Whenever we're ready, we can go get him, and uh, we're just going to wait until we get that. So that's just kind of a thing. So until then, uh, until then, I'm going to, I don't know, uh, put some stuff aside. Yeah, I'm going to put some stuff aside. Here, here's my little treasure. Treasure trove. <laughs> what else do I need? Here, we're dropping this. We're dropping this. Uh, I don't need these. Drop that. And then for the crafting stuff, I'm just going to chill. Uh, just put it over here for now. Just like, you know what? Here, drop that. Here's some uh, soil I needed. Uh, here's some stone for crafting. Here's some of this. And then uh, this pink penstemon. Uh, is what we needed over there. So yeah, and then I got some fish over here. I don't really need to, I don't need that stuff. All right, so I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good with uh, moving on to the main story. We uh, we expanded our house today, I think. It felt like we'd, we were like spinning our wheels a little bit though. 
But anyway, yeah, we built our house, which is really fun. Wally, we're so close. I just got to go craft that trellis thing. I need one of those other little flowers to naturally grow. I'm low-key hoping that if I quit out of the game and, like, come back in, they'll just magically be there. But I don't think that's the case. But either way, uh, we got a lot more things to do. Uh, I think what we'll do next time is find out what's going on in that cave area, right? Because by now, that tomato is done growing and we can explore that cave while we were kind of waiting. So yeah, sounds great. Excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. Thanks so much for watching. Seriously, it's good. I'm like, I'm so ready to do this. Thank you so much for enjoying this game. Now the game's super cool. Uh, I never really messed around with crafting before. Like I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm out here making crops and making carrots and stuff like that. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, those of you guys playing on Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Dreamlight, or Disney Dreamlight Valley, good luck. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's, it's hard. It's like, think about it like playing Fall Guys on Steam. It's so perfect and buttery. And then you play it on Switch, and it's like, oh, gosh, help me. Anywho, get this out of here. <clears throat> okay, you guys ready to uh, go check out the tomatoes? Give me some big tomato hype in the chat. I don't know. Do it. Gorsh. All right, Goofy, you can hang out with me for a little bit. Yeah, yeah you're fine. I need to make some more s stones. All right, let's go. I want to grow pumpkins, man. Forget rice. I want pumpkins, dude. I want these pumpkins. All right, let's go. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let's actually go back to the little underground cave while we're waiting for some different flowers to bloom. Not really sure how that works, if it's on the timer or anything like that, but either way, we've got some stuff happening. Uh, now, as we've learned before, tomatoes timer is about 25 minutes to grow, and the little uh, quest over here mentioned something about growing the tomato, the carrot, and the wheat. So that being said, once uh, once 25 minutes passes, you're going to be all set and ready to go. All the way down. Let's do it. Here we go. So did I do it? It says, uh, discover the right crops to continue. One is underground, one is golden brown, and one is red and round. Didn't I? I'm sorry. So, oh, what? How did I not water that? Are you kidding me? You saw me water that. Well, okay, great. Another 25 minutes it is. <laughs> oh, gosh, help me. Uh, all right, well, I got plenty of things to do while we're waiting for that. I don't know about that. Why, why do you have to water them more than once? That's terrible. I would never do that. Tomatoes, you're done. I'm done with tomatoes. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. They're thirsty little plants. Forget that. Look at all these tomatoes. I actually grew these in the rain, so I didn't know about anything. <laughs> okay, you know what? We got some money. We got some money, so let's explore a new area. I'm feeling a new area. We got some, we got some currencies over here. Which area should we go into? Uh, let's actually take a look, and I'll let you guys uh, vote. The, the Glade of Trust. Or do we go in Sunlit Plateau? No, no, no. We're either going to do the forest, or we're going to do the glade. So you guys tell me, what, uh, which one would you like to do? The forest or the glade? Because I want to find a new spot. And while you guys are deciding, I'm going to hope and pray that some of these flowers actually made their way over here. The Forest of the Glade. Which one is it? Give me the white and pink flower right now. I need it for Wally. Wally needs it in his life. The Forest. The Forest. The Forest. I see a lot of you guys on Team Forest over here. I'm on Team Pink and White Little Baby Flower. I don't know about you guys. Is that is that it? Please. Please. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like a regular old red one. Lame. And what the heck is this? Did I not cover that? Alright, let's do it. We're going to go, it looks like the forest works, so let's go figure out the forest. Hey, little squirrel. See you later, buddy. 
All right, Squirrel, work on respawning my uh, my stuff. And we'll come back to that tomato, don't you Don't you worry. 3,000. You really must visit the Forest of Valor. Uh, remove the night, block, uh, night thorns blocking the path, and you should be able to stroll right in. Yeah, let's go. 3,000? Dude, that's nothing. I got 18. Quite impressive. You clear the way to the Forest of Valor. Okay, so here we go. This is the Forest of Valor. Uh, I have not experienced this before, but you can see a pet raccoon. And we got, like, a portal over there. Ooh, we got some stuff happening. Uh, and we got a quest started with some guy. Yo, who is that guy? You guys know him? Is he from a Frozen movie? If it isn't, this guy. Kristoff. Kristoff says, someone's here. Wait, someone's here. Woohoo! Sorry, I've just been lost in these woods for so long. Uh, what were you doing in the woods? Well, Donald Duck and I were searching the valley for some help to fight the night thorns and stop the forgetting, but I sort of lost him. Or maybe he lost me. How do you lose Donald Duck? It's actually easier than you'd think. We were in the Forest of Valor when the night thorns blocked us in. And that's when we saw a dark entity removing the orb of courage from the forest pillar. Out of the blue, they just opened a doorway and stepped through it. That dark portal over there. Then Donald ran right through the portal. Oh, see that portal right there? Chasing after the dark entity. Well, that was classic Donald Duck. Always in trouble. Yeah, I just hope this time he hasn't gotten himself into trouble he can't get out of. I tried to follow him, but he yelled at me to stay put and guard his back. I wanted to argue with him, but you can't really want to fight against Donald Duck. And that's the last time I saw him. It's been so long. I, uh, I hope he's alright. Hey, if you were able to remove the thorns and find me, then maybe you're powerful enough to go through the portal and save him. Uh, yeah, never fear. I'm on it. Okay. I wish you'd come to the valley a long time ago. There's something special about you. I don't know why, but I know you can do this. Just step through the portal. And don't worry. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. Okay. Well, we're going through the portal. I hope my tomatoes are ready, because I didn't forget about them. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay, Goofy went through the portal too. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. So I picked up like a little feather looking thing. Ooh, look at this portal. Oh, I should be tracking that. I'm sorry. Wally, you know, we're, we're kind of done with you, Wally. I, I wanted to, trust me. Hold on, hold on. Lost in the... Yeah, we're going to follow this one. Show Kristoff what you found. Okay, so we found like a little feather. The feather might be Donald's feather because he is a duck. Looks like one of Donald's feathers. I hope nothing happened to him. Uh, let's see. The portal leads to a dark grove. A dark grove? That sounds like the valley's forest. But darker? What could... Uh, what could that place be? A dark grove is full of mist. Okay, there's no way you're getting through that thick mist without something to help you lead to lead you to Donald. It's too dangerous. You'll get lost, trust me. Been there, done that. Well, how can we find Donald? Well, you should bring the feather to Merlin. He knows uh, some kind of magic that'll help you track Donald. You think I want to do that to... Mm, I don't want to go over there, but... Where's the way out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see stuff. Oh, I can see the whole thing. Oh, look at this. Ooh, some new wood. All right, all right. So the castle's this way. Luckily for me, Merlin is like two steps away. Let me see. Where's Merlin? Yo, Merlin. Oh, he's in his house. Look at that. I gotta move this truck, man. It's a little too close. Luckily, I moved Merlin's house right there, huh? Hey, dude. He was on the phone. Sorry. Uh, don't say anything, Abdallah. I'm a, a soothsayer after all. I know you're here to tell me. Uh, my memories of the future are cloudy today, you have to tell me. Okay, so I found Kristoff in the forest. Yeah, Kristoff. Yes, yes, he's the lad who plays the flute, or is it the glockenspiel? I don't know. The lute. Yeah, yeah, the lute. I thought he left uh, the village after the forgetting like everyone else has. He must have stayed for a reason. Uh, Donald Duck stepped through a portal. <laughs> oh my, Donald found himself in a portal, you say. Huh, perhaps a gateway to another world, and this dark grove is full of mist? Could that portal lead the same place as the one you saw on the beach? So many questions. But let's make haste. Donald could be in danger. We need a way to find him. Well, there's only one way to find him. We'll need to create a tracking spell that will work in that dark grove. You need a few emeralds. A plant from the dark grove 
and a few dream shards. I'm sure you'll figure out a way to gather everything. When you're ready, bring them to me. Okay. 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 I'm kind of understanding a, a theme here. I don't think I own any emeralds. I am curious if I own any dream shards. It's just like, <laughs> before we can do this, I need you to give me 20 things, and they're all scattered around the world. Like, no. You have a magic wand, spawn them, guy. All right, I don't know what the heck happened. A dream shard? A plant from the dark grove? An emerald? I gotta look and see where this stuff is, man. Are any of these dream shards? Why can't I hover over them and tell me what they are? Okay, so yeah, yeah, I, I, those were dream shards. I had them. I had them saved. Look, 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 look. I got dream shards right here, baby. I'm good. Okay, we got dream sh shards. Uh, I need an emerald. None of those are emeralds, but if I'm going to be mining, I better get Scrooge with me. And then a plant from the dark grove. So uh, I know exactly where that's at. You know, this isn't too bad. Let's go inside, inside Scrooge's area. Let's find out where the emeralds are located. And then hopefully just do some mining and then we get really lucky. All right, easy, easy, easy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take a look at the gems. Emerald is going to be in the Forest of Valor and the Glade of Trust. Okay, so I can find emeralds. And if I just find one, then there's a, a high chance that Scrooge is going to help me as well. So uh, let's just look around over here. I didn't even get a chance to look around. Here's a new thing for Goofy. You better believe I'm gonna buy this. Let's go buy it. All right, let's do it. 1500 Yo, I made a money. What are we buying? Oh, yeah. What are we, what are we gonna be? Ooh, yo, red pepper? Oh, I'm gonna do it all, man. Give me a stack of 50 of those, and I'll put them in my uh, inventory. Uh-huh, improving the stall for a 3500 You better believe it. Yo, goofy stall, man. Ooh, we got another level? It looks like there's a couple empty spots in that shelf. Oh yeah, you got a you got a third level here. Oh yeah, how much? How much? Seventy five hundred. I'm in. My money is draining right now. Ooh, looking good. Onions. Ooh, I ooh, as much as I want to start grabbing all these. Good to see you. What's this? Ooh, canola seed. All right, all right. I mean, I'm one with carrots, but. Uh, if I were to do some gardening, I would really have to clear out this area and start digging some stuff. But uh, until then, let me pay for this little um, this little warp over here. How much? 2500 Dude, we're good. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay for a warp. For convenience? Absolutely. Yeah. I think all of the crops have their own merits as far as uh, net profit goes. But uh, I think I think carrots are still your number one, Un unless I get pumpkins, man. I heard pumpkins are real good. Um, anyway, not interested in arguing about that. We'll make a video on it soon. All right, next. So there's some fish over there. What we need to do now is kind of look around, right? We didn't really give this place a, a good look over. Seems like some sort of house over here. Not really interested in doing the whole thorn thing, but like whose house is this? Oh, I'm not really looking for whose house this is. Uh, I can care less. It's a pretty big house, though. Wow, two rooms? Holy moly. Give me that. Well, I'm going to steal from the house really quick because that's what you do. And your boy needs some new clothes, man. I'm still wearing Scrooge McDuck shirt. Yo, give me some new duds. Give me some new duds. Oh, yeah, let's go. I will absolutely wear that sweater. Give me that right now. Yeah, yeah, with shorts? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, uh, black jeans? I don't have black jeans. Yeah, this is... Uh, the blue is a little much, but you know what? It's the point. All right, give me that. I'll have to find out whose house this is. Here's someone's memory. Could be someone from Frozen. I don't know. All right, it says the castle's where... Uh, this castle's where Elsa lives. Uh, no, wait. Uh, that's wrong. Only her sister lives there. Annie? Angela? Why can't I remember her name? 
Who's Elsa's sister, dude? Everyone only cares about Elsa. That's the that's the moneymaker, right? Elsa's way more popular than Anna. I like Elsa better. I don't know, who do you guys like better? Elsa or Anna from Frozen? You tell me. Tell me at home. Trust me. Uh, the other one's not listening. What is this? Oh, I just gotta pick it up. Okay, great. Alright, so what is this? It's another scrap piece of paper from the former king, I think it was. A forest full of secrets and life from quick, quiet lives of raccoons on the ground to the busy flutter of the birds of the trees to the owl and the wildcat gliding silently through the darkness. Okay. Well, if there's an owl or a wildcat, I want to see them. Oh, here's mining. Great. Please be an emerald. I need it right now so bad. Ah, oh, come on, Scrooge. Come on, Scrooge. Yes! Scrooge, help me. Scrooge. Dude, you're you've got one job, man. You got to you got to mm. All right, fine. Fine, Scrooge. Here we go. That's one emerald. That's it? Oh no. How many how many mining spots are in here? And please don't tell me there are two of them. And I don't think I even picked up up an emerald. That wasn't it. That was an aquamarine. Oh gosh, help. All right. Well, you know what we got to do now, right? We got to go to the Glade of Trust because the Glade has some mining spots too. Because if I don't have this emerald, I'm I'm a goner. I don't get anything. And like getting rid of all this like night thorns, it, it's pointless. I don't need to do that right now. I need to mine. We got to be out here mining, and I did only see two spots. That's unfortunate. So we got to wait until those two respawn. And then this brings us down to the beach. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Okay, so in the meantime, let's go back into the portal. Let's go back into the portal and get ourselves... Ooh, I'm going to take some of this dark wood, though. I'm going to take that real quick. Thanks. Ooh, we're going to go inside and get the... Uh... Ooh, how many other mining spots? Oh, I don't see any. Yeah, we got to go get whatever the, the thing is. Like a plant from the grove. Plant from the grove, a plant from the grove. I don't see any plants yet. Ooh. Hello? Wait, what just happened? Oh, like it's a plant from the dark grove. I'm here. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, got the plant. Now I need two emeralds? You're crazy. Where am I getting two emeralds from, man? It's not happening. Not happening. All right, Kristoff, I need emeralds. I also need more mining spots. Did that respawn a mining spot? No. I can't go across here. We're fine. Can't go across that bridge. Those little mushroom stumps are in the way. Can't go across there. What can I do? Yeah, and then my two mining spots to the left and to the right of Anna's house are not respawned back. So, it's unfortunate, but that's the game, right? That's the game. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go open up another part of the map. Uh, because I feel like that. I feel like I need to go get this glade, right? Like the glades of trust. So let's go over here to Peaceful Meadow. Let's go open up glade. I got the power to do so. Um, so we might as well, right? Let's take a look. Bunny. Do I have a carrot? I don't. I don't. Sorry, buddy. Nice sweater, though. Look at this. Okay, 5,000. I'm in. Be sure to add the Glade of Trust to your travel plans after you remove the Night Thorns. For 5,000, cool. I'm down to 10,000 now, which is not good. Not enough. Okay, so Glade of Trust? Well, um, yeah, I don't know what the heck this is, but we opened up some new stuff. All right, one does not simply pass up an opportunity to fish for blue, right? That's uncommon. We'll take it. There's a well over there. I need something to spend my money on, right? Whoa, if you're a, is that a kid or is that a squid? Splatoon 3! Oh, man. Look at that. That's a lemon tree? Yo, I can absolutely harvest that. 
What do you mean there's mushrooms over here? Get out of here. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're fine. Give me that. I'll take lemons for the first time. Uh, remind me to grab that. Ooh, look at this. Let me pay for this real quick. Mr. Moneybags over here. 5,000. I'm in. I got it. I'm made of money, dude. Making tons of money making all these carrots. Perfect. Good. I love that. The wishing well. Now we can warp over here. Cool. Where's the goofy stall? Is there a goofy? Oh, oh. How much? How much? Name your price. Name your price. I'm here for it. 2,000, take it. This is good. I just need to find the mining spots. And then we also have to go get that tomato too. How much? Name your price. 5,000, I got it. I'm going to be running out of money soon. Very soon. All right. Here we go. Yup. 10,000? Alright. I'm in, I guess. Wow. What do we have here? I think we got like... What is that? Is that okra? Yeah, that's okra. You guys ever read okra? Some soul food right there. 135 per bag, dude. I'm gonna be growing okra like crazy. Okra is not too bad. Alright, so we got okra. I'm sorry, what was the other thing? Uh, this is uh, rice seed, and then we also have spinach. So, yeah, go for it. Um, like I said before, if you if you dig out plots in the native biomes, uh, they'll grow a little bit faster, which is pretty fun. I don't really know exactly how fast, but anyway. What are these? Date milkweed? Give me that. Oh, harvest lemons. I'll take that. All right, so foraging, we're getting a little bit new stuff here. Catching seafood, great. Oh, I didn't realize that squid is considered seafood. Oh, I love that. All right, so what is in this glade here that we're kind of looking around for? What's this? Oh, like, yo, baby Bella mushrooms over here? I'm in. That's definitely something I want to uh, collect. Little mushrooms. Okay, so I can't go over this little water here. Still a lot to look at, man. We unlocked two new areas. All right, let's go. Let's look over here. Ooh, oh, what is this? That looks like a mysterious cave that I'm not sure if I want to go into. But I'll pick up all the junk, all this foraging stuff. I don't think I could go in here. It's like some sort of creepy mist house. Huh. All right. Ooh, give me these. All right. Oh, a little mushroom barrier. Cannot cross. Okay. So we're going to have to get some weapon upgrades over here or some tool upgrades uh, through some certain characters in order to uh, get past that area. But the only thing that I'm really looking for in here... I'm really only looking for the mining spots, man. Like, oh, some seaweed on the ground. Cool. I don't see any opportunities to mine. I gotta follow some walls. Maybe there's something over there. Come on, emeralds. Okay, here's this thing. Covered in malice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. Scrooge, let's go. Emerald time. Please. Nope. Nope. What's on this tree? What is that? What fruit was that? No idea. Picked up. It looked like a carrot. Give me that. That's probably a bonus based off of harvesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whose arm is that? Predictions at home. <laughs> Someone's arm. All right. Um... Yeah, not, uh, not seeing, not seeing too much. Okay. Mushrooms. And then this is what, the beach? Oh, yeah, this is the other side of the beach. Okay, so dude, like, I need... Oh, yes, 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 here we go. Ooh, ooh. Come on! Donald Duck's grandpa. What the heck, man? 
Dude, this is one of those times. Oh, what is that? An alligator? Oh, what do they like? What do they eat? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I need to find them their favorite food. If I was an alligator, I'd probably eat a fish. What are you shaking your head for? You just took my fish. Oh, dang it. Yo, a fish is considered seafood, isn't it? Oh, man. I was going to give him my one and only squid. But here, this is this is not emerald. This is absolutely not emerald. Citrine. Thank you for the extra citrine, my guy. Love it. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. They've got, a, like, more than one type of food, right? There's a, there's a specific, like, yo, here's an alligator. You give him this, and he will be your best friend. Okay, so the mining spots for emerald uh, are literally just along this wall here. I really only saw, like, two of them. So that's really unfortunate. Oh, 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 here we go. You, you, I, fine. You know what? I don't need a companion alligator. Forget about it. Alligators are scary. All right. So here we go. Um, what we were doing before we went over here, let's go to the map. Uh, I'm going to go over to the forest wishing well. Let's see if those uh, little rock formations respawned. And uh, anyone at home know Trash Panda's favorite food? What is their favorite food? Okay, so this, I need to find out where the mining spots were again. Yeah, here's one. What are the raccoons' favorite food, if I ever do approach one? Raccoons? I don't know. Now, now we're playing a guessing game? No, we're not guessing. I'm looking for factual information. <laughs> nah, man. All right, didn't find that. Berries, huh? I don't think I have blueberries, but I'll keep that in mind. I mean, we'll do an entire, oh, look at him. Look at how cute he is. We'll do an entire like video of like befriending all the creatures. Like, why not? Here's blueberries, just in case. Just in case I see a little raccoon. I will feed him. Give me that. Dude, I need to clean this place up. I need to legit spend a good hour cleaning. That's what I love. That's one of my favorite things. It's just like so chill. Just like getting rid of all the night thorns and uh, and all that. So anyway, so there was one. Uh, there's actually, I think there's three total mining spots over here. Yeah, there's three total mining spots. One, two, come on, Emerald Man. Has to be. Yes, thank you. And you give me another one? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. I got some trash in my inventory. Hold, hold, please. I don't need, what is this? Oregano? Out of here. Yo, I'm going to eat that. Cool camera view. Whoa. <laughs> Love this game, man. Yo, I got my two emeralds. Oh, yeah. Bring the ingredients for tracking the spell to Merlinda. Oh, we're going, dude. We're going. Uh, best way to go to Merlinda's is this way. Whoa. <laughs> we're flying away. Yo, the camera's bonkers, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. I have to give you all of this stuff. Enjoy. Yeah, it was the oregano. Okay, here we go. Uh, splendid, Abdallah. Absolutely splendid. Well, shall we get down to business? Alakazam. Kadabra. Alakazoom. Make me a tracker from Donald's Plume. There. This should do the trick. Just head back to the dark row and fall the enchanted feather. It will guide you to the right direction. Oh, dang. Things are looking good. Okay, okay. We, we got a lot of things. So before we go over there... Um, we gotta, we gotta clean up. 
Oh, I got some random stuff here. What is this? A little furniture pouch? Cool. It's a meal in a cup. I'm sorry. What? Do I... Oh, it's a piece of furniture. Weird. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Is that from, like, Wally's universe? It's kind of funny. A meal in a cup. Okay, things that I don't need. What is this? A, an enchanted feather? Okay. Some of these little trellises I don't need. Uh, I kind of want to, like, hoard them. Like, no joke, I do. But I'm just going to... We're going to throw some stuff over here. Things that are crafting materials, right? Like uh, this. Drop that. What is this? A cocoa bean? Cool. Ooh, yeah, get rid of this. Don't need that. Um, don't need these. And then I think... Yeah, we got mushrooms over here. We got these weird milkweeds. I don't know. I think I'm going to sell the milkweeds. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think we're good with that. <laughs> I don't want to make any chests yet. I like throwing them on the ground. Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright, great. Alright, let's do some work. Let's do some work. I need to go to that, uh, that little stand. Oh my gosh, I really have to get rid of all these trees in the forest. Like, for this game, I'm absolutely going to be on top of deforestation. I'm going to get rid of all the trees. I'm going to get rid of all the malice. It's out of here. I don't need any of it. This is the blue fallings. Don't need blue fallings. Oh, iron ore. I'll absolutely keep that. Carrots? Uh, I'm good. Uh, dandelions? Nope. Purple fallings? 23 bass? Nope. Lemons? I guess I can eat those. Milkweeds? Don't need them. Mushrooms? I'll keep. Soil? Um, all right. Uh, seaweed I'll take, because that's kind of rare. All right, let's sell that for like a thousand. I wish there was a way of like organizing everything like quickly, but that doesn't seem to be the case, so. Okay, so we sold fish. Uh, I still need some dream light. Yeah, let's go and take this. Mining, mining, mining. Great. Okay, okay. All right, so I think from where we're at right now, this is a, a good little stopping point. We got our... We got our little feather, we got our tracker thing, and uh, yeah, so let's let's go stand next to this thing and go see what's going on with uh, with our buddy Donald. And I also do want to find out what's going on with that tomato. Like, I'm being pulled in two different directions. I don't know what to do besides look at Kristoff and, my, and like, make him admire my cool sweater. All right, so lots of things happened in that episode right there. Um, we have we have a we have a split right now. I think my tomato's done, so we can go back to Ursula, or we can continue, we can continue this Donald quest. Uh, it's up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to see, we'll do it. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Woo! What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Ugh. What do you guys want to do? Ah. Uh. What do we want to do? Is there a certain uh, pathway? Do you guys want to go and finish that tomato quest finally? Or since we're already over here, do you guys want to do Donald? That's up to you. Doland? Should we do Doland? Uh, I got one vote for Doland. Uh, a couple for Ursula. Uh, what else? Continue this quest? Yeah, we could. It's a little bit easier on the chapters, huh? <laughs> do Donald Duck. Only if I get to hear, um, only if I get to hear his little squawks. We could do Tomald. Yeah, yeah, we could do Tomald. Yeah, yeah, Tomald is a thing. <laughs> Why are people saying tomato? <laughs> All right, let's go. It's time. You guys have decided we're going to do Donald. Let's do it. Happy memberversary! What's up? I saw we had another brand new member uh, come on board too. Thank you so much for being here. Yo. Tomato. I know you guys are saying please, but like we're here and we're going to go do Donald, so don't worry. All right, Donald. Uh, I, got a, I, got a, I got a lot of stuff. I kind of like low-key want to get enough stones in order to make a couple chests because that was a highly requested thing versus throwing stuff on the ground. But hey, that's what I do in Animal Crossing. What can I say? I'm a purist. All right, let's move on. Let's do this. We're back with more Disney Dreamlight Valley, baby. Let's jump in and save Donald 
a duck. He's got the favorite. He's got, he's got my favorite voice lines, and his like voice augmentation in the entire game. So anyway, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh! Help! Hey Scrooge! Oh wow! Like I haven't seen this before in video games. This reminds me of Breath of the Wild and Oki. You guys remember Oki? A magical leaf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't take a wrong turn. Don't take a... Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like the Lost Woods in Zelda. This is so funny. Nothing's original anymore. It's okay. All right, Donald, I'm ready. Can you guys do a Donald Duck impression at home? I want to hear it. Here it comes. There he is. Talk to Donald Duck. Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Finally, what took you so long? Wait, you're not Kristoff. Are you trying to steal the orb of courage from me? Wait, I'm Abdallah. Uh, Kristoff sent me, dude. Kristoff's still in the valley. He should be here helping me. I took all the risk of following the dark entity to get the orb of courage back. And I've been stuck in this place ever since. Uh, okay, what is this place? No idea. It looks like the valley, but much darker and scarier. I saw a dark castle through the trees, but I have no idea who lives there. And did you find the orb? <coughs> of course I did. I followed the dark entity, but then I got lost in all the fog. They opened another portal and dropped the orb when they left. I picked it up, but I couldn't find my way back. I thought Kristoff would have sent help sooner than this. Here, take the orb since you made it here. I bet you can go back to the valley and fix the pillar of courage with your magic. How did you know I had magic? Are you okay? Do I look okay? I've been lost in a dark, scary forest for I don't know how long. Sorry, it's not your fault. Actually, I feel better now that you're here. Hey, maybe you can get me out. Yeah, let's get out of here. Whew, that's all I want. You gotta go back through the portal and fix the pillar. Then focus your thoughts and its power should be strong enough to bring me back to the valley. Okay, how do I get out of here? Um, oh, do I just take like one wrong turn and then... Oh, wait, what? It's right here. All right, dude, see ya. Place the orb of courage in the forest. Yeah, we're good at this. Come on, let's go. Where is that thing? Oh, here we go, right here. Orb of Courage. Was it that easy? Well, I mean, the hard part... The hard part was... Um, <laughs> was finding those emeralds. Yo, his eye, his pupils are completely off. And what happened? Yo, dude, look at his pupils. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'm back in the valley. Uh, thank you for your help, Abdallah. <laughs> it was pretty brave of you to go to the Dark Grove and help me. I bet nothing scares you. Uh, you're right, I'm the bravest. And modest, too. <laughs> wow, things sure have changed here. Um, yep. The one more pillar fixed. Aw, oh, fooey. Are they all broken like this? Wait, what? Uh, we have to figure out who the dark entity is so we can get rid of all these night thorns and fix the village for good Whack, I just remembered while I was lost in that scary forest the dark entity dropped something It looks like a page from a diary here. Take it. I don't understand it But maybe you can find out more about the dark entity if you figure it out <laughs> All right time to go see my friends. Thanks again What um Okay. Uh, what is on your timeline over here? A sled? A spa? Picture of a reindeer? Emo hair? I'm okay. Oh, dude, what am I gonna do with this man? Ah. Uh, what is he? He looks like a forager. Yeah, he looks like a, a forager. Mm hmm. Great. Uh, okay, so now what? What are you trying to tell me? The Forest of Valor could become a top-tier tourist destination, you know. But no one wants to hike in that forest uh, the way it looks like. Yeah, I'll decorate it. I'll make it a perfect place for... A romantic picnic. 
Well, I'm not much of a lovebird myself, but you'll never go wrong with a bit of romance in your marketing. Okay, not going to do it. I got other things to do. We did the uh, the entire Valor thing. Okay, so that looks great. Uh, I'm going to uh, hit this, and then we're going to go get that tomato, right? Ursula's quest. Okay, so Forest of Valor is is good. It, it's fine. It's, it's stable right now. We got uh, Kristoff on our side, which is kind of fun. I don't really use the ability of foraging before, so we're going to see what that's all about. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Give me that. What is that? What's that doing behind there? Give me that. Yo, a new clothing outfit? I'm kind of done with this sweater, by the way. Unless it's pants. Or a hat. Oh, moccasins. Oh, I don't think I've even changed my shoes once. Wow, look at me. Look at me. Look at these moccasins. Oh my gosh, they look good. All right, all right. Skinny jeans and moccasins, I'm telling you, that's the new uh, fashion trend. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go and warp out of here. We're Now that the Forest of Valor is kind of done, there's still a lot more to do. I'm sure we can go to Frosted Heights. We can go everywhere else, and we can actually clear that out. I can steal the two fruit things, uh, put the fruit things over here in like a little orchard, and continue going. Like, there's lots of things I can do. But, but, we've got some other things to do. And I swear if I have to water this tomato one more time, I'm going to lose it. All right, let's go, buddy. And I got a new friend that I can befriend. Dude. Get ready. Okay. Did the door open? Oh my gosh, the door opened. Yes! Okay. We did it. The tomato grew. What else is happening over here? Oh my gosh. Cooking? What am I cooking? I'm sorry. What's the clue say? What's the clue say? Dunk. Need some stones, man. Good, good. Here we go. The final riddle. Let it be known to cook and eat what you have grown. Ooh, to cook and eat what I've grown. So all three of them in one? Okay, let's see. Some money off of that. Alright, so cook and eat what I've grown. So that's one carrot, one wheat, and one tomato. Carrot, wheat, tomato. Carrot. Tomato. And wheat. Good luck. Yo, veggie pasta? Three star? Oh, that's good. I needed a three star recipe, and that's an easy one to do. Wait. What? What now? Hello? Oh, cook and eat! Oh, okay. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is my... Where is it? Veggie pasta? Um, gulp. Great! Now the door is gone! Yay! Okay, so now what? Oh, what is th Ooh, what is this? Yo, give me that. Yo, pick that up. Hello? Uh-huh, I've learned a new language, extremely easy to learn and uh, express complicated ideas so quickly. I'm gonna use it to keep it in my journal. Okay, I don't care. Alright, tell me this. One last thing, and you can go. Catch the orb that lies below. What? Oh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? Ooh! Let's go. Catch it. A memory? Oh, orb of power. Okay. Whoa! I can feel the power surging through my veins! Now what? Oh, okay, so the orb of power probably goes in one of those little things. So let's move on out. Unless this is what Ursula wanted. She wanted the orb of power. I don't remember. I'd have to take a look at her quest. Yeah, let me, let me take a look. Was it with great power? 
Place the orb of power in the pillar. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this one. Place the orb of power in the pillar. Mm, yeah, I'll have to try to find out. Like, see, sometimes in Disney Dreamlight Valley, you get stretched so thin, so far in so many different directions that you're like, what? Where, where are these things? This looks like it. Dude, we got two orbs in, like, ten minutes. So good. Okay, go back to Ursula. All right, I'm here. Let's go. I don't remember. She's over here, yeah? All right, Ursula, I'm here. Is this your little cave? Oh, hello there. Oh, Welcome back, angelfish. I see you held up your end of the bargain. Well, a deal's a deal. I'll let you in on a little secret about the forgetting. Everyone talks about the forgetting as if it were just some miserable thing that happened, like an algae bloom on the ocean. Uh, but the forgetting is much more than a fleeting moment in our village history. The forgetting is caused by a being. The forgotten is as real as you and me. And the forgotten is still here, cursing the village. Uh, why would anyone do this? Who knows? For some, not me of course, causing trouble is its own reward. Sure. If we're gonna stop the Forgotten, you've gotta fix the pillars. They're the only thing that will protect the village from the Forgotten's curses. Now run along and tell whoever you must. But be careful, you never know who might be listening. <laughs> Let Merlin know that Ursula is free. Oh gosh. Is that a good thing? Uh, how is she free? Was she under a curse? Uh, I don't know, man. Yo, Merlinda, where you at? All right, let's go. All right. What do you mean? Sign all the contracts with her? Of course. Why wouldn't I? She's very nice. She calls me Angelfish. You've returned the Orb of Power to its rightful place. Bravo. Uh, you've done marvelous things to our village, my friend. Uh, though, I suppose this, uh, though I suppose a sea witch is free now. Rather unfortunate consequence, eh? Her name is Ursula. How dare you call her a sea witch? Oh, I see you become fast friends. Well, be careful, Abdallah. Ursula will do anything to increase her power. And I'm sure she sees the power within you. Yay! With great power is complete. Great. Okay, now what? The curse. What is that? What is the curse? Okay, Merlin, tell me more. Is that mother... Is that the mother Gothel? Yo, yo, come on. No! Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Blast it all. We have a new problem. There's some sort of dark magic hanging over the great tree in the Glade of Trust. This is different from the other dark magic we've faced. It's trickier, far more powerful. I suspect uh, one of the villagers was meddling in bewitchments that have no place in this valley, and it went terribly wrong. I feared that not even your vast magic would be enough to lift the spell, but now the orbs of friendship, power, and courage are back in their rightful places. I know I can trust you with this task. You want me to go to the Glade of Trust and try to lift the dark magic from the tree? Uh, why don't you do it yourself? I fear my magic isn't strong enough yet. But you've demonstrated that yours certainly is. Okay, okay. Now, as soon as I can, uh, head to the Glade and focus your magic on the tree. Alright. Well, luckily for you, I've already been to the Glade, guy. I'm the master of the Glade. Let's go. Bzzz. Yeah, let's go. Mother knows best, huh? You know, Mother Gothel? She's good. She's uh, she's one of the good ones. She's not a villain. Oh my gosh. Whoa, hey, those are my crops! What are you doing? Uh, explore the cabin inside the giant tree. All right, here we go. Hello there, lovely. I'm Abdallah. Nice to meet you. I know. Look, you look at you. Finally, someone has managed to open the door to my prison and free me from. <gasps> it's me. Why are you? Why are you sneering at me? The dark magic's gone. You're free. Have we met before? 
Why, you look just like... No, my mistake. Must be your dreadfully ordinary face. Oof, hey! Uh, just te Okay, good, good, good. Just teasing. Don't take everything so seriously. I'm very happy to see you. The ruler locked you up in here? Mm, why? You probably deserved it. Oh my gosh. Oh, fine, I'll admit it. I may have been fiddling with a tiny bit of dark magic. I was merely trying to concoct a curse that would keep someone locked away safe and sound. After all, why bother with a secret tower when you can just use magic? That's very sensible. Yeah. So use magic. Finally, someone who appreciates my genius. Now I'll confess the spell may have gotten a bit out of hand. Some might even say it was threatening to destroy the whole valley. I suppose I don't know my own strength. Huh. Well, that's when our ruler decided to turn the spell back on me and lock me away here. Now, as much as I appreciate you freeing me, I'm afraid you've made a dreadful mistake. What do you mean? You see, just as I was trapped in here by my curse, the curse was trapped in here with me. Now that you've freed me, you've unleashed my dark magic on the whole village. What a mess you've made. Uh, I was just trying to help. I know, darling. It's truly tragic. But if we can restore the orb to the pillar of trust, it just might get us, uh, get rid of all this pesky dark magic. And aren't you lucky I happen to know where the orb is hidden? Will you tell me where it is? Tell me now before I get mad. I helped you, now you help me. Quid pro quo. All right. Uh, it's a sea witch who loves to cut a bargain, my dear, not me. But since you helped me, I'll let you in on my little secret. Uh, to draw on the dark magic I needed to create my curse, I had to rip the orb of trust out of the pillar. Come quickly. Let's go to the pillar of trust. All right. Let's go, mother. Yo, first name, mother. Can I call you mother? No, I won't. <laughs> I will not be calling you mother. <laughs> Yo, what's Mother Gothel's full name? Please tell me. Do you see that floating island over there? That's where I tossed the Orb of Trust. You can try to get it back, but only if you know how to sprout wings. The bridge that island broke long ago. Ooh, that's where it is. And one more word of warning about the Orb of Trust. You might be able to see it, but you won't be able to touch it. I cast a spell to try to hide it, but it worked a bit too well. It's between worlds now. Like a dream, when you're on the verge of waking. Mm, can't you do something about it? If I could, I'd already done so. Try Merlin. Let the old coot do something useful for once. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is where I have to go. This is the floating island here. So I gotta somehow make my way over to the Orb of Trust. Can't touch it, but I'll be able to find something that will do so. I need to find, I need to retrace my steps to this place. Okay, so there's that. Uh, there's a stall. Okay, so directly across from Goofy's stall. Or um, here, floating island. I don't remember where it is on the map, but anyway, we gotta go find Merlin. Oh, Merlin, man, what are you doing over there? Merlin's over there schmoozing with uh, Ursula. What you doing? Yo, Merlinda, get over here. Yo, Ursula's out and about. That's cool. Kind of creepy. Hey. Hey, talk to me. Oh, I'm listening to them. Oh, I'm sorry. Confound it, Ursula. I have the spell, but I can't be the one who performs it. Uh, just remember, you brought me this spell. Your hands aren't clean of this, old man. What spell? I'm putting my trust in you, Ursula. Do not make me regret it. I'm sorry. I'm just... Hello? Hey, hey, hey. Talk to Merlin. Uh, so all this dark magic is Mother Gothel, Gothel's doing. Oh, I should have known. Uh, she didn't mean to do it. If you meddle in dark ma magic, you have to expect the unexpected. Mother Gothel should have known better. Most of the villagers are stuck in their houses by this blasted curse. Ursula and I were able to break free only because we cast some magic of our own to ward it off. To break this curse, we'll have to restore the Pillar of Trust. But that may come at a terrible cost. I know a spell that could work, but it's dangerous. It demands sacrifices you may not be willing to make. The spell will take you to another place, somewhere between here and there, where the Orb of Trust was hidden. It's not easy to get to, and it's dangerous to get stuck there. Uh, what is here and there? 
It's a place between worlds made of pure magic. In the here and there, the laws that govern our world don't apply. One may pass through things and see things that shouldn't be seen. Uh, one might even take a, take a leap of faith and walk on air. Oh my gosh, who's that in the back? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was that, is that the mother gal? Where's she going? But usually things or people that go to here and there never come back to tell the tales of what they've seen. Uh, will I be able to come back? The magic of the pillar of trust made whole again should be enough to summon you back to Dreamlight Valley. We'll just have to hope the sea witch can be trusted. What's the spell? Okay, you need Ursula's help. I'm afraid that type of magic is not my specialty. All right, Ursula. Do your thing, girl. Is that a crab? Oh my gosh, I'm just going to pick up a lobster? Oh, sweet. Yo, give me that. I can cook with some lobster now. Here you are, finally. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do... Talk to me about the curse. This is the main story quest. How typical. Once again, a bearded old geezer leaves all the dirty work for yours truly, and to you, apparently. Tell me, Abdallah, are you ready to do whatever it takes? Well, oh, I hope so. Anything for Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now, dearie, some of us managed to break free of the dark magic running rampant in the village, but we'll need to give something up to free the others. Merlin gave me his trust. Given our history, that was probably enough of a sacrifice. As for me, I'm sacrificing my pride for the greater good. Marvelously noble of me, isn't it? That leaves Kristoff. He fought off the curse before it could lock him up. It's up to you to get something from him. The greatest sacrifice of all. His love. What? Look at... Why is your face purple? He must be willing to give up all his memories of his love, Anna, to save the village. Wow. That's all? Pfft, easy. Good. Because it's the only hope of saving your friends. And we'll need a few ingredients to complete the spell. Make sure you bring back a few dream shards and night shards. When you have all that, come to the cave where we first met. I'll do my magic on the, uh, on the spell there. Okay, night shards and dream shards, man. Alright, ooh, 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 hold on. Do I have Scrooge with me? Scrooge! Yo, there's some green stuff over here, Scrooge. Come on, man. Alright, alright. So we gotta go get some night shards and dream shards. It's gonna be easy. Easy peasy. Night shards, dream shards. Honestly, I don't know too much about that. Night shards are the little things that come out of the, the little grounds when they're sparkling, right? Is this a night shard? Uh, this is just trash. I gotta make myself a chest, man. Here's dream shards. Okay, that was four dream shards. Uh, night shards are these little black ones. Do it. Okay, so I got night shards. How do I make dream shards? I think it's a crafting recipe. Let's take a look. Uh, purified night shard? Is that the same thing? No, that's not it. A, hmm. Purified night shard, that's not... Yeah, because I need dream shards. So, how does one farm dream shards dude all the villagers are stuck inside their houses what no oh man oh okay 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 so if we got something in our mailbox i'll go take a look thank you i right, this is my first time checking my mail hey i'm taking dream shards thank you so much Connect from main menu claim anyway. Yeah, we're good. Yo, I'm claiming those. Did I get them? Where are they? Oh, I have 29. Yeah, we're good. Okay, dream shards. Great. Okay, so that was awesome. Um, other than that, uh, you probably get them from like vines and rocks and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got to go convince Kristoff to forget about Anna. Where are you, Kristoff? Kristofferson. Oh, he's right here. All right, you ready, big guy? Let's go. Uh, Abdallah, what's going on? There's all this dark magic everywhere. I barely managed to fight it off. It's a curse that Mother Gothel whipped up. And, uh... You don't really need your memories of Anna, right? What? That's crazy. Anna's everything to me. I'll never give up my memories of her. 
Uh, well, let's see. You can get, you'll get to fall in love with her all over again. Yeah. I guess that's true. We'll have these warm, fluttery feelings again. The ones you get when you first fall in love. And this will help Anna too, right? Well, if that's the only way to save the valley, I'll do it. The love I have for Anna and her love for me will survive anything. I trust you to help me get my memories back. But for now, I'll give them up. See? Told you that was easy. Told you that was easy. Yeah, dude. Would you do that? Would you give up your memories of someone that you love in order to save a town or something like that? It's a conundrum, isn't it? Yo, give me this free fish. Whoever caught that, thanks. Yo, she is just swimming. Oh my gosh, she's so fast. Would I give up my memories to save an entire village? Yeah, absolutely I would. What, are you selfish? Yeah, no. Give the ingredients to Ursula. Here we go. I would 100% do exactly what Kristoff did. Kristoff is a hero. You're gonna let an entire town, you're telling me at home that you're gonna let an entire town fall under some crazy spell because you're selfish with your memories of one loved one that you can't just make back? Mmm... Sorry. We disagree. See? Kristoff's the hero here. He's just gonna make new memories. And it's not like Anna forgot, right? It's not like Anna forgot who he was. Anyway, it's it's a conundrum for sure. Alright, the curse. Here we go. Alright, you can take all this stuff. The boy accepted. Aren't you the persuasive one? I'm almost impressed. Now there's only one more sacrifice to be made. Yours. I need your magic. Yo, 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 no, 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 this is, no, I'm not giving up my magic. <laughs> to you? No, I'll give up Kristoff's memories, but my magic are worth more than that. <laughs> A trick? Don't be ridiculous. I have bigger plans for you than merely taking your magic. If you want to blame someone, blame Mother Gothel. She created this curse. It'll plague us forever if we don't stop it. Now that I have all the ingredients, I can work my magic. Travel to here and there, recover the Orbit Trust, and fix the curse. All right, deal. And don't dilly-dally. Our fate is in your hands. I didn't agree. She took it anyway. Whatever. Wow. Let's go in the portal. Where's the portal? Oh, gosh. This is it. Now I'm... Now I look like Minnie. Oh, so maybe Minnie's in the here and there. And maybe I can go find her. Here or there. Can I warp? Can I walk on water? What's the what are the rules? What are the rules of engagement here? Okay, so we're gonna go get the orbit trust, man. It's as easy as that. Watch. I'm gonna warp right over there. Uh, we said it was to the south of Goofy Stall. Oh gosh, I can't see anything. Where am I? Oh gosh, I'm going the complete wrong way. Oh there we go. You can see it emanating power. Duh, I got this. I got this. Look at that. I'm just going right through it all. Look at me. Yo, Merlin explicitly said you can fly in the air. Uh-huh, got it. Okay, cool. Mother Gothel, now what? Who do I give it to? Place the orb back into the pillar. Ooh, see, I don't know where that is yet. Merlin explicitly said you can fly in the air. All right, now where is this thing? I didn't really learn this map all too well. That's the well. Oh, man. I literally took one step into this place. All right, well, let's just let's follow the walls. Let's see where the walls take us. Through the mushrooms. Can I have that? Nope. I can't touch anything. Oh, my gosh. I don't like that it's dark. And I don't like that I can't see very far ahead. So this is like very blinding here. All right, where am I? Is there a, a, a map icon for it? Oh, I should have marked it or something. What is this? That's the well. Oh, not good, not good.
Yo, if if the the glades are a quadrant, is it in the north, south, east, or west of the glades? That's what I need to look for. Oh, open my eyes, man. Where am I? Okay, so I'm in the west right now. All right, let's take a look. We'll find it. It's just going to take a little bit. Okay, so now I'm in the north. Okay. I don't know if I've even actually seen this thing. Oh, 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 I see something glowing. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Got it. The correct answer is right here. It's literally in the southeast. Done. Oh, gosh, what did I, what did I choose to do? Okay. Great, where am I? It's in the southeast. I didn't mean to warp. All right, all right. The only correct answer is southeast. That's it. Southeast of the glades. Done. We're done. Goodbye. Thanks. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, no, I am going north. Let's keep on going. Yep. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Help me. So dark. How am I still here? Okay, keep going south. There we go. That glowing purple. That's exactly where we were at. <laughs> All right, not bad. Uh, here we go. Check. Boom. Transfer. Do I get my magic back? Wow. Yay. We've lifted the curse on Dreamlight Valley. Yep. Talk to Mother Gothel. I will. I'll give her a piece of my mind. Where are you? I, I, I thought I liked her. I don't know. But we'll see. Innocent until proven guilty, right? Like, she... M Mother Gothel entangled? You know her plot? Of, like, trying to preserve the magical hair? Yeah, of course. She did nothing wrong. She was perfect. Hello there. Hello, lovely. Once again, you save the day. Just like always. Yeah, I'm the best. Ugh, how appalling. I've fed into your already overinflated ego. Wait, you really don't remember, do you? Well then, let me be the first to welcome you back. Ouch. Back to the valley that was once your home. You are our ruler, your majesty. What? Plot twist? No. The old ruler? You really should listen more closely, dear. Long ago, you reigned over these lands. It was prosperous enough, I suppose, and you made a ridiculous number of friends. But then you started to change. And one day, poof, you disappeared without a trace. While you were gone, something evil started to grow and grow and cause the forgetting. If you want to end the forgetting, you'll have to find a way to reach it and root it out. Keep exploring these lands, your majesty. Maybe you'll even find someone to help you with that. Plot twist? This ruler that we are talking about that up and left is me? I did not see that coming. Holy moly. Yo, what's girlfriend gonna do? Yo, she's gonna help me garden. You better believe I need a better gardening buddy than Mickey. Come here. Let's go, girlfriend. Yo, that's insane. I'm looking a bit run down. Hey, don't worry. Just teasing. Hey, stop teasing me. You look almost as fabulous as me. All right, well... That's a plot twist. My mind is blown right now. I'm the ruler, and we saved three of the orbs. That's great. I love it. There's still a lot to do as far as quests go, so uh, let's continue playing, yeah? Thanks for watching. All right, what do we think about that? What do we think about that? Uh, for starters, you guys that didn't want to give up your memories of your loved one in order to save everyone, shame on you. For those of you guys that hesitated about giving up your magic, shame on you. <laughs> Dude, Kristoff's like, if it's going to save everyone, boom, let's do it. Love it. All right. So I like this a lot. This was really fun. Um, what what else do we have now? Gorsh. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to get this alligator really quick. Come here, come here, come here. Don't talk to me. Dude, you talked to me and you made my alligator run away. I got a lot of stuff, man. Give me that. And yeah, thanks for that tip on the dream stones or whatever those things were. I haven't checked my mail at all, so uh, this is good. Okay, so um, taking a look, taking a look over here. Dreamlight duties, uh, catch three seafood, pick three mushrooms, okay. Cook with seafood, feed a critter. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could pick mushrooms. Um, I was naturally doing that anyway, so. Um, what, what quest do you guys want to do now? Boom, yo. Um, what quest do we want to do now? Do we want to attempt to do the other quest? Do we want to unlock a new area? Like, things are open right now. I can go and unlock anything I want to. Okay, so we got the Glade of Trust done. Uh, we don't have Sunlit Plateau. We can go open that up. Uh, but as you can see over here, there's, like, tons of, like, fruit that I really have to just spend an entire just, like, live stream of just like organizing my town and get rid of all the like night thorns, getting rid of all the trees, just clearing house like we've done with the entirety of Peaceful Meadow and all the plaza. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm good with doing a sunlit plateau. I'm gonna pass on realms. I don't need realms yet uh, until I'm at like a really hard standstill. I'd much rather open these guys up. So yeah, I think realms right now are a waste of my, um, they're a waste of my dream light, because I don't really want to do them. But yes, I understand that the realms give you Moana, Moana gives you Maui, Maui gives you the stronger pickaxe, etc, etc. You can get Anna and Elsa, and then they give you this, you give you that. No, I'm, I'm good. Soon, but not now. All right, all right, all right. Let's prioritize, let's prioritize. Let's go uh, do some other stuff, yeah? Lots of things, lots of things happening. Right, don't talk to me about tool upgrades. I already know all about it. Thanks, kid. All right, let's do it. We're back with more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, we have gotten a lot of the orbs, and I figured that what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be going over to uh, some different areas in order to try and open up some new places, right? Opening up new places will allow us the ability to get more uh, items. It'll allow us the ability to get more food, um, some different recipes, like... I really just want to craft. I want to, I want to farm. I want to find pumpkins. There's a lot of things I want to find. So uh, let's move on. Uh, low key, I'm actually looking for the white and pink ones that Wally wants me to find. Uh, but I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't see any, man. Wally is something, dude. This trellis over here is is blowing my mind. It's only available in here, but I have yet to find a single one. When I'm out here trying to get this. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, checking the mail? Yeah, that's a thing. You think I care about a little shiny companion? Guess what, I don't. It's like checking the mail in real life. I don't know, I have like a weird hesitation for it. All right, maybe, maybe if I come over here and pick up every little thing that's on the ground in the plaza, then and only then will my specific flower grow. Just a theory. I haven't tested this out for science, but you can see over here that there's really only two, uh, two trees in the plaza. And that means that uh, those are the only two trees that spawn the softwood. Which is actually really cool. So, love that. Give me that. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I'm not really seeing stuff, but my inventory is pretty full. So, let's go into the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let's go into our house and uh, put some stuff away, yeah? Get ready. All right, putting some stuff away. Things that we need, things that we don't need. Mushrooms? Cool. I will transfer those. Um, sure, cocoa beans? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, seaweed? Yeah. What's this? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is this, bacon? That's a squid? Yeah, I mean, I could cook with it. I'm good with that. What is this? This is f blue penstemons? Tomatoes? 
Yeah, I don't really need tomatoes over there. Dream shards, rocks. There's a ooh, like this ore, iron ore. Absolutely, I need that. Uh huh, uh huh. Here's these guys. Yeah, sure, whatever. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, so I need to get rid of some things like dark hardwood. Yeah, I'll absolutely put that over there. Uh, softwood. I'll have another stack of it. What is this? A recipe? A diary page? What? There's some things that I just had in my inventory that I didn't realize. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go. What do we have? We have none other than a brand new outfit for the episode. Ooh, Mickey Mouse jean jacket? Dude, the 90s called. Yo, the 90s called. They want their jean jacket back. All right, that's cool. Do you guys own a jean jacket at home? Cool. Here's a diary entry. Whoa. What's this? Uh, loneliness is cold. My mind is numb with solitude. My thoughts are sluggish and dull. I think I can warm myself up if I talk to someone, but there's no one here. Too bad, you old king. All right. I'm going to go dump some stuff, and we're going we're gonna to get ready for a new area. Right? We got some stuff. You love that jacket. Oh, this jacket actually looks kind of cool on me. Just throwing that out there. All right. I like visually showing off my rock collection here. Right? If you put your rock collection in the chest, you can't show it off. It's like furniture. Yo, give me this recipe. Yeah! Go, rooting for the rep. I'm sorry, what was that? Is there not a pop-up that comes up and tells me what I learned? I, I don't know, man. All right, so rocks. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's, I'm gonna pick up some stone. 26 rocks, there's 42 rocks done. Uh, do I need carrots? I mean, these things are fine. What did I want to do really quick? Um, I think there was one thing. Uh, dream light duties. Uh, pick three mushrooms. Cook with seafood. All right, I'm going to cook with seafood real quick. Let's just do it. Like that jean jacket life, man. Is that the new trend? All right, cook with seafood. All right, let's make... Um, ooh, sorry, not seafood. This is seafood. Let's do squid. And let's do wheat. Squid and a wheat. And I think that's got to be like, maybe like squidding pasta or something. I don't know. Give me like a spice. Apples. Uh, where are the spices at? Spice up your life. Yeah, here we go. I'll throw a little bit of oregano in there. Okay, cool. Have fun. Seafood appetizer? Dude, I sacrificed my squid for that? Trash. Oh, man. Well, I'll take my dream light. Whatever. All right, all right. You know what? We got stuff to do, man. This is just little silly stuff. Don't don't worry about it. Here we go. A brand new area. Do we, oh, 7,000? You better believe I got 7,000. Uh, now, I know you haven't been to Sunlit Plateau. Take it from me. Uh, it's, uh, it's not to be missed, of course. 7,000, man. Good show. You've cleared the way to Sunlit Plateau. Give me the panoramic. Where's the panoramic? What is this? Cocoa beans? Cool. Ooh, what is ooh, another ooh, yo, here we go. It's priorities, man. You gotta get the you gotta get the warp going. Gotta pay for the warp, gotta pay for the goofy. All that stuff. Repairing this well means that you can quickly travel here from anywhere. That's right. 7,500? Dude, I got money, Scrooge. I'm good. Wow. Ooh, a little desert here? Okay. Insert obligatory desert level? What are these? Little cactuses? Oh, yeah. Goofy stall. That's what I'm here for, man. I got to do a lot of cropping. How much? 3,000, dude? Come on. For the basic? This better be pumpkins. I don't know if I'm going to get pumpkins here, man. Seventy five hundred, dude. I'm getting broke. I have not been planting crops. I need to plant everything. A minute of your time. Fifteen hundred. Take it. Take it. Take it, Scrooge. Uh, 
All right, Scrooge, I'm legit broke now. What are you selling me? What are you buying? Good to see you. What is this? Chili pepper seed? Cotton seed? Zucchini? Soya? I, I don't know what soya is. Is that like soybeans? <laughs> all right, well, you know what? We got all sorts of new stuff at Goofy's area. Um, so you know what? That's fine. Cool. Great. Oh. Okay, so what do I do here? Oh, there's no way I can get past this. Like, get out. I can't clip through it. I need, like, an axe or a tool upgrade or something. Good to see you. Oh, my gosh. You could break down all of these, I'm sure. This is, like, Lion King, right? Wow. Oh, what is this? I could just, like, cook out here? Oh, my gosh. That's so fun. All right. Wow, this is like, yeah, this is 100% Lion King. What is this? 15,000? The Forgotten Lands. Well, no, not yet. I mean, 15,000 is a lot of Dreamlight, man. That's a huge grind. That's like end game, dude. That's like the final boss over there. But I am the final boss, so what is this? Give me this memory. A jiggy? <laughs> uh, loneliness is sharp. It cuts me like glass in my fingers, but it's much more awful than broken glass because I cannot see it or avoid it. Oh, too bad. What, are you sad? You lost all your friends? Well, you shouldn't have left. And how the heck did you get here? All right, fine. You can follow me for a little bit. Hello. Hello. Oh, hold on. I got to give you two things. Here we go. Hold on, what is your favorite thing, really quick? You like banana pie mushrooms. Oh, yes, here we go, enjoy, man. Yo, I got a lot of stuff, here we go. Oh, I don't, I'm sorry. I put away my mushrooms, but you can have a tomato. Or a lemon. Want a lemon? Woohoo! All right, here we go. I'm gonna give you uh, another lemon. There we go. Give you, like, a little millimeter of of good friendship there uh let's see what are you thinking right now reindeer are better than people that's what he's thinking about mm, yeah but they're not so all right cool have fun all right let's go oh are we hanging out yet hello hello no he is hanging out with me all right cool let's go we got stuff to do merlin what you doing in that tree okay so we have to find out what is the mystery inside this area right we uncovered a brand new area. Great. We can go mining. We got uh, we got some trees over here. But what's the gimmick? What's the point of this area? It looks like a graveyard. Mixed in with cacti. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, a bird? Holy moly, what is a bird like? Oh, a hummingbird. I don't think I have anything a hummingbird likes. A flower? Here. Great. Doesn't like... Oh, you do like the flower! Sweet! Yeah! Ooh, great. Oh, that's so... I'm so smart. And humble. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bird liked it. Give me that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you better believe I'm doing these things. Mine two minerals. You better believe. Screwed, you ready? What is this? What kind of rocks is this? Oh... Or what, I'm sorry, what kind of sticks? Dry wood. Interesting. Didn't realize. Okay, so here's the new orb thing. I don't think I could access anything over here because I don't have things that are going to break the bone. Don't think I can. All right, here's another diary entry. Uh, the Sunlit Plateau is hot today. I got to remember to keep away from the elephant graveyard. That place gives me the creeps. Mmm, no, I'm gonna... Oh, hi, 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 get back, get back. Your bird, your bird, your bird, 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 bird. Oh, man, at least I fed one of them. That was great. Okay, so looking around, I don't... Uh, I don't think I have access to anything. What's this? Seaweed? Oh, yeah, I love seaweed. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, yeah, this is a dead end. I don't have the tools to go anywhere over here. Hi. Hi. No. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the mushroom. Sure, dude. He smelled the mushrooms and he's like, yo, hi? Where's my mushrooms? Are you kidding me? Didn't I just pick them up? All right, well, whatever. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think so, man. Woohoo! Yeah, way to forage, dude. Oh, is this it? Every time I release the, uh, dream, uh, sorry, the night, night things? Is that considered foraging? No, it's not. He'll, he would have gotten three hearts for that if that was the case. What about this? Is this considered foraging? No, he doesn't like it when I pick up the cactuses. <laughs> okay, so Elephant Graveyard. There's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here in Elephant Graveyard outside of that little um, spot where people are just, like, cooking. And there is nothing for me to do here because I don't have access to those tools. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a bummer. Give me cocoa beans. Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll take all this dry wood. Oof. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, and I, I don't know what level my shovel and or pickaxe need to be at with which character in order to break those bones. So yeah, that's just not common knowledge. It's not like, uh, the game gives you a hint and says, oh, hey, uh, come on over here. Uh, find, I don't know, Anna and Elsa, and then they'll be able to, you know, help you out. But that's not a case. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, we got some other little quests that we can knock out. I only have 5,000. Uh, let's go see what the other areas are, right? Let's take a look. All right, all right. So, we did Sunlit Plateau. I can't get past here. And I can't get over here. Oh, can I? Hold on. Oh, gosh. Every time I press A, it just warps me back. All right. I actually want to see that really quick. I'm going to take one more spin through the entire um, Sunlit Plateau, just along the river. And if the only crossing path from the river is going to be that, like, this blocked path, then I'm out of luck. And I can't do anything until then. But I can mine. Yeah, mining's probably not worth it unless I'm actually bringing uh, Scrooge along with. Okay, so yeah, each of these pathways is blocked by all those bones. Yeah, so there's a bridge pathway and then there's like a cobblestone little rock pathway that, yeah, I can't get through. That's not a thing. And using my shovel, yeah, I just look at it. So, okay. So Sunlit Plateau is a waste. It's a waste because I don't have access to any of the uh, upgraded tools for it. Yep. Okay, not a big deal, not a big deal. Let's take a look. Okay, Glade of Trust we've unlocked. Uh, we didn't unlock this next area, which is Frosted Heights. So I want to look over there to see what's going on. And if it's expensive, I hope it's like only 7,000. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I hope it's only like 7,000, man. Like, because that would be good. Because then I really only need to grind out like 2,000 more. And then I can have a new area. Uh-huh. Biome. 10,000. Okay, so only 5,000 more and then I can unlock it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be another time. That's okay. Go oh, with you now. And then I don't have anything to break these little stumps either. That's going to be like, an, I think it's an Anna and Elsa quest once you get them. So until then, uh, I'm kind of at a point where it's like, all right, well, let's find someone's random quest to work on, right? So I wish, I wish we've got a lot of crops that I could just low-key plant. <laughs> just to get them out of my inventory. Um, let's take a look at some quests. Let's, let's do something here. We're kind of at a standstill. Rebuild the Forest of Valor. Decorate the Forest of Valor. Place 10 pieces of furniture. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a story quest. So, you know what? Let's go do it. Let's go do it. So, I'm going to put 10 pieces of furniture over here. 
in order to rebuild the forest like we did with scrooge remember with scrooge we went over and he's like yo put put like four signs out and make sure that it drums up enough business and then i said all right oh gosh i said okay i will and then i just put them like all in front of his house <laughs> all right so here you go piece of furniture yeah here's an armchair here's a bench uh-huh here's a dirty counter yep here's another bench yep here's another bench yep that's five here's another bench six seven eight nine and here's a celestial bed there you go wouldn't you do this exact same thing look at these bench and the alignments of this bench it's so good all right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I put a celestial bed along with some benches, all watching the sunrise. See? You thought I was just throwing furniture out there for nothing. But little did you know that there's a story involved with that. All right, where's Scroogey McScroogerson? Oh, my gosh, dude. Where are you? You only need a megaphone. That's Donald in his house. Uh, that's not Scrooge. Oh, you, what are you doing at the beach, man? Love that. How many of you guys would just easily throw... Oh, a baby turtle. Well, I don't know what the turtle's like. Oh, he's being shy. Okay. Um, how many of you guys would just throw furniture over there versus, like, actually... Um, putting it down where you... Where it would make sense. I don't know. Hey, hello! Okay, yeah. I put the furniture down. Yeah, it looks splendid. Well done. See, I told you. As I always say, a solid investment is sure to reap a solid reward. Okay, rebuild the valley. Perfect. Um, cool. Now what? Um, great. Scrooge? Uh, I mean, you got anything else for me, buddy? That, that was it? That was the only story quest. Okay. Scrooge, tell me. He just has regular side quests. Rebuild the Valley Dazzle Beach. Yeah, sure. Uh, looks like you cleared up some trouble down on Dazzle Beach. Uh, that's prime waterfront real estate, which means you got to develop it. Add your own uh, special touches. I think I'm going to make it uh, exciting and fun. Here we go. Certainly make it a quality tourist destination. However you decide to decorate, I'll know you make it a fine place for a tired businessman to relax and count his money. That's right. Oh, you ready for this? I'm going to make this look so good. Um, I want... I want... Um, what is it? Ten things? Dude, I got ten trellis waiting. Here, how about this? Where are you? Where is he? Oh, man. I want to like block him in. All right, here we go. One. Yep. No. Give me this. Nope. All right, one trellis. I'm just going to cage him in. Three. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Eh. Eh. Four. Five. Great. There we go. <laughs> Six. Am I mean? This is not mean. By by all means, this is not. This is not mean. This is perfect. This is exactly what he wanted. I just got to double fence him. Oh, did not work. All right, here we go. Yep, just, yep, this is exactly it. Uh-huh. Okay, now, now, this is beautifying. Look at how many trellises. This is like trellis corner over here. Love it. Phenomenal job. Now it's like a maze. Oh, look at him. Hey, hello. Yeah, here you go. Oh, Dazzle Beach has never looked finer. Maybe now you can try swimming in the ocean instead of a pool of money. Oh, uh, or I could do both. Nothing relaxes me quite, uh, like a dip in my money bin. Okay. A good day to you. All right, so here we go. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to make the swamp a place that's, like, sunny and inviting now, I guess. Okay, so we're doing all of these quests for Scrooge. I don't know why or what it does to the town, but, like, whatever. I'm, I'm into it. He's not, he's not asking why there's a bunch of trellis over here like you are at home. Don't worry about it. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out. Mm -hmm. Let's close that. 
Oh, what's X button? Okay, I need my trellises back. <laughs> no way. I can never do Scrooge's accent. What is he? Uh, Irish or Scottish? Oof. Yikes, that's going to hit hard with some people. <laughs> All right, the Glade. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Mm, mm. Wait, there's a golden one right there? Oh, I should go get it. How do I zoom out? Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's the forest. Here's the... Is this the glade? No, this is the glade. Yeah, it's like green and swampy. And that tree is gigantic. Oh, that's the house? Holy moly, I didn't know that house was so big like that. That's yeah, Mother Gothel's place. You all be coming over later. All right, let's see. Uh, we just got to make some stuff. So let's pop open our thing. Uh, give me some essentials, like um, 10 things. Mm, no, I don't, I'm not really feeling those. Oof. Okay, here we go, here we go. Give me all. All right. Uh, I mean, trellises seem to be the thing, so let's just do it. Ten. All right, Scrooge McDuck. What do you think about that? Does it look good from here? Well, the Glade is certainly in good hands with you. That's right. Okay, but like, what's the point of these quests, Scroogey? Um, oh, I gotta keep playing to unlock more missions. Alright, well, Scrooge's quests are kind of caught up for now. So, let's continue on. Alright, I keep on mixing up the two different menus. There's an inventory menu and a regular menu. So, what I want to do is, I want to go back here. And I want to look around for Wally's... Wally's flower. I'm looking all over for it. There's dandelions, man. What's this? A blue flower. Another blue flower. Like, no thanks. Where's the white and blue one, man? Or the white and pink one? It's just non-existent. It's, that's, that can't be it. Red falling? No thanks. Uh, blue falling? Uh, dude, it's just like, it's just a rare spawn. It's not happening, Wally. It's not for lack of trying, buddy, I promise you. Mm. Well, ooh, 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 what's this, what's this? Red? Pink? That looks like red to me. No way, man. Yeah, and I've got way too much stuff. Like, I need to, like, go inventory management over here. Hmm, all right, all right. Wally, you're lucky. Squirrel, don't. So now I think the natural progression is making some more of the uh, dream light in order to unlock some more people in the castle, which probably would be like Moana or something like that. Um, get Moana, get like Anna or Elsa, and then like I'll be set and ready to go, man. Things are good. Things are good. Ooh, ooh, is there a flower right here? Oh, is this it? Is this it? Oh, I don't know. Dude. Stuff is growing on the outside of my house over here. I hope that's it. Yes, white and pink falling. Uh, oh, no, I put that back here, back there on purpose, didn't I? Yeah, I did put that down over here because I needed that for Wally's quest. Yeah, it's okay, whatever. All right, you know what? Let's open up this mailbox, see if we got anything new. It's my first, second time checking it. Uh, it says, you've got, uh, ooh, so you have more of these things. I'm just going to claim all the stuff. Great, so more of the dream shards. Great. Welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, I'm going to get a new companion and a new set of ears. An ultimate founder's pack. Holy moly, look at all this stuff. Uh, do I need any of it? Probably not. A Buzz Lightyear helmet? 20,000 moon shards, which I don't even know what the moon shards do. Let's go. Hello? How do I how do I claim it? Uh, I can be like Buzz Lightyear if I wanted to. 
What's that? Cr oh, I could I could wear the crown. Oh, yeah, yeah, the crown looks pretty cool. I don't need these like pilot shades anymore, dude. Give me a, give me a hat. Is this the no? I don't know if that's the crown I wanted. This is like more of like a tiara, but I'll wear it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any masks. Things for my back. Oh, I can wear sparkly wings if I wanted, but I'm good. All right, kind of cool. The crown's a motif? What are you talking about? You're telling me? All right, let's see. How do I edit? Here we go. Why? So you're talking about the crown being an actual motif. That's not a thing, is it? Oh, that's gross. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm, I'm wearing a crown shirt because I'm the king of Dreamlight Valley. Yay. <laughs> okay. Great. Love that. Change my outfit. Get paid. Thanks. All right. You like... Oh, I look, I look actually pretty good with that jean jacket on and that crown. Ooh, look at me. Yo, I'm never taking this crown off. All right, so things I need to do, I need to grind, and I need to actually, like, go plant some stuff. So, uh, why don't we do this? These are my tomatoes. I'm going to go plant whatever I'm just holding into my hand. Like, it doesn't matter. But, Abdallah, if you plant it in the native biome, they grow faster. Don't talk to me. I got it. Trust me. You think I'm, I'm tight on time? Guess what? I got all the time. We don't need to. Um, once I make crop areas for all of that stuff, then absolutely I'll do that. But right now, I'm not in the mood to dig. I'm in the mood to just like empty out my pockets. I'm in the mood to just like see what else we got over here. I'm good, man. I'm good. This jacket looks good on me. I got Christofferson over here. He's the true hero of this entire game, man. He just sacrifices memories in order to help me out. What a good guy. I got some clay. Yeah, we need some crafting materials. Ooh, what is this? A crystal? Pretty rare for crafting. Yo, I got a seafood appetizer. I got some cocoa beans. There's actually a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. And I think that... Hi. I don't think I have a carrot. I think I just need to, like, sit down, organize all my stuff, put them in the chests, and then really just go from there. So, all right. Well, that's Disney Dreamlight Valley. We unlocked a brand new area. But, uh, yeah, as you can see over here, the area is kind of barren. We can't do anything because we don't have the higher tools. And the only way to get the higher tools is to get the right people that give the tool upgrades. So, it's kind of where we're at. I kind of felt like I wasted all of that, like, 7,000 dream light. But, I mean, I got access to new crops over there, which is going to be super fun. And I can make a lot of money with that. So, I'm excited for it. So, let's move on. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. All right, friends, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, my gosh. What a good game. Like, there's a lot going on. I'm kind of upset that I can't actually mess around with stuff over there, that they actually lock your, your progress. This game kind of seemed open-worldy, but whatever. All right, so let me make this chest really quick. I need stones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many stones do I have? Wait, that's not a stone I picked up? What the heck was that? What is this, then? What is a stone? Coal ore? Clay? This is a stone. All right, got it. They look really interesting. This is stone. 42 stone, baby! Yeah, Manuela, welcome, by the way. I didn't get a chance to say thanks. Welcome. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a chest with some soft wood. All right, so let's see. Let's see. I need a chest over here. Let me see. Where is my tables, bed, seating, house? Ursula's lair? I'm sorry. I have to put Ursula's lair down? I didn't realize that I had an extra house. I don't remember her saying anything about that. She should have said something. All right, I'm going to put a chest, like, right over here in the back of my house. And let's see what the chest does. Oh, dang. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down, guys. I guess I could be a little bit cleaner. I need some more stones, though, dude. Making chests, though? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cocoa bean. Uh, so now I need to, like, say, all right, I got this chest. I'm going to put this inside it. Tomatoes. All right, so things that I need. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Pebbles? Psh, don't know anything about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wood, wood. Crafting materials. Vanilla? Oh, wow. I didn't know that vanilla was a spice. All right, you know what? First things first. All right, first things first is let's put all these gems inside. Gems and rocks. I'll put them inside my uh, gem chest. As much as I want to sell these for money, I'm good. I'm good. Here we go. All right, here we go. Crystal. How do I expand the, the storage here? Can you make a bigger chest? I don't know. Purified night shard. Anything that's like precious metal, I'll put inside there. Looks like a pretty good idea. Um, now, I would like to have more stones, please, because I would love to make another uh, one of those chests somewhere else. Okay, let's see. How much do I need? Softwood. I need a couple more stones. So, I mean, I guess we can go mining. Guess we can go mining. Where is, uh, yo, wh who are you? Oh, you're my, you're my plant grower. Yeah, I guess. No, I'm, I'm doing one thing at a time. You chill for a little bit, girl. Give me, um, give me Scroogey. Yo, she's following me. Tell her to stop it. All right, Scrooge is inside here. Yeah, this is, this is a good game. Here we go. Okay, so, um, talk to me. Those bones inside that graveyard, are any of you guys this far into the game? Which character do you need to get the bones in the graveyard smashed up? All right, let me take a look at my inventory. Uh, fish I don't need, carrots I don't need, seafood, like all this other random stuff. I just need stones. So let's go, let's go break some stones. Oh, wow, look at this. Heck yeah. Thanks, dude. Two for one today. Yeah, this is what I need to do. I need to hang out here. So, we're saying that Scar, Lady Wizard, in the comments, uh, you're saying that Scar is an upcoming DLC, and then this is just saying, like, oh, hey, you can't do anything until he comes out? What's the source on that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious. Because, like, if that's just an area, I just wasted 7,000 on it. It's such a bad idea. But I do like the fact that, you know, it's like, it's kind of really end gamey, right? Like, you gotta do a lot of things until then. Oh, D23 interview with devs from GameSpot yesterday. Ooh, look at you, Lady Wizard. Yeah, 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 of course. Cool. All right, I'll take your word for it. All right, level 10, yeah? Okay, good. I don't need them anymore. All right, we got a safe. Good job, level 10 Scroogey. Easy peasy. All right, so I need some other peeps with me now. Um, who wants to come? The Gothel? I do like her. Although she was kind of mean to me. I do like her a lot. Alright, you can come with. Where are you? Am I doing some fishing? Don't. I'm not taking this quest. I didn't read it. I should have read it. I'm just here to, like, say, hey, be my friend. Spying is fun. 
Um, what? Uh, okay, okay. I don't want to accept this quest yet. I'll figure it out. <sighs> I just want you to join me. Here we go. Let's hang out, girl. I guess I'll have to drop everything to answer your call. I'm just kidding, of course. I'd be delighted. I don't know, man. I don't like that. Like, I, I get that, like, she... <laughs> I know all of you guys at home have a friend that does that too. Your friends just like they say something um, that they're that they're obviously joking about really first, and then they say just kidding, and then they just say what they meant to say. I'm like, okay, I can only take that so often, man. Come on, like, just tell me. Oh, is that some garlic? What is that? All right, we're we're kind of tidying up over here. I was looking for stones. I'm getting a little distracted. Do you guys have a friend that does that? who always just says like just kidding weird don't be that friend thanks all right how many more how many stones do i got five stones what that doesn't make sense uh maybe i have more inside like storage somewhere all right whatever So you're telling me that that one desert area is unfinished? That doesn't make sense from a developer standpoint, though. Why would they do that? You need to wait until Scar comes? I don't know, man. I guess it. I kind. It is kind of finished because what you have the new um. What? You've got the new Goofy stand. Which has something in it? I don't know, man. Feels a little weird that that's the answer. Uh, Billy says, Forgotten Land is even worse. Tell me more. Elaborate. What's this? Uh, of course I love the valley. I always will, but lately it's so distracted, and there are so many other things I need to... I mean, that's that's kind of the, the epitome of this game. It's, it's saying the antithesis. It's saying there's so many things you got to do, right? It's just a lot. So we're just going to mess around the forest for like another little bit and then we're going to call it. Ooh, oh, gardening level three. Thank you. What is this? Okay, great. Thank you, girl. Just really cleaning up over here. Just finding what other kind of uh, items are around too, like hardwood, for example. That seems like a pretty rare material that I haven't really seen too much of. So eating, or sorry, picking up the hardwood is going to be pretty good. And I wonder what Mother Gothel is going to give me. Like, what's her perk through her storylines, right? So, gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Yahoo. Oh boy. Thanks, Mickey. Not here for you. Sorry. I know you're missing Minnie, but uh, I'm good. Not now. I tried so hard to do the Wally quest, did not happen. Oh, and that's just one of those things where it's like, yup, welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley, where the one item that you wanted to spawn just didn't show up, and now you gotta wait. So, while you're waiting, go do 20 other things and hope you remember to come back to the thing that you were originally working on. Ugh. I don't know. I'm the kind of guy that's like, alright, let me do a one and done. Like, this is the quest I want to do, like, let me go do it. I don't want any, like, roadblocks. Want there to be a linear path to where I need to go and not <laughs> something that's based off of time. Uh, I haven't confirmed or denied changing your system settings. Uh, I know you can do that in Windows for sure, right? You just go out to like system settings, change out what time it is, and then like move forward a little bit. Is there any punishment for that in the game? I don't know. Yay, way to go, level four. Oh, way to go. Who put all these benches here? Weird. It's like they like watching the sunset. That's super weird to me. Maybe it's a mystery of the forest. 
Like, I want to craft another chest that I could just, like, put all this, like, weird foraging flowers in, right? Rather than just sell them. Like, I might as well hold on to a max stack and just, like, fill it up. Like, that makes sense to me. Yeah, let's go. Alright, we made, uh, made some pretty good headway over there. Yeah. The developer said, don't time travel, it'll break your game. Hmm, that's just a deterrent, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, is this Wally's flower? No, eh, it could be. No, it's, uh, I don't think it is. This is Wally's flower. It's the white and pink one. That's the one. I need a lot of them, though. All right, I gotta make a chest. That's what I'm here for. Functional chest. Great. It causes glitches. Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know me, like, I would absolutely want to test the limits of time traveling. If it's worth it, right? Um, where am I? I'm going to inventory. I'm going over to this. I got a chest I could put down over here. I wish I could, like, customize the chest color, right? Wouldn't that be cool? All right, let me do uh, a chest here. Let me do a chest here. Okay, two chests. Great. Okay, things I want to put in this other chest uh, are going to be random, um, I guess, flowers. I'll put flowers in there. Cool, I got my flower chest. Uh, let's see, cotton. Uh, white bell flower. Yeah, you can have that. Uh, lily, house leek, dandelion. What's a flower? Falling purples, falling reds. Uh, star lilies, bell flowers. Um, I should have one with ingredients on the inside of the house. I need to make a lot of chests, man. I'm just now noticing this. I should have been holding on to my uh, stones for this because this is actually pretty genius. Flowers. Seaweed is a crafting item. This is a flower. Uh-huh, uh-huh. My gems, man. Don't look at my gems. Yeah, we're going to get max stacks of these. Beautiful. Uh, this is crafting material? Mm, like wood, right? Like wood and dark wood. And this is going to be cooking material. Coal ore. Vanilla is going to be a spice. Fish is going to be that. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting to think about. Soil? Dude, I need more, I need more stones, man. We got to go like mining. Let's go. Stones, five stones. Okay, what's all this? All right, so these are the, like, I want to put cooking ingredients in here, right? Like, that only makes sense. I don't need anything else. Like this over here, iron ore. No, I'm taking that. Stone, don't need to cook with that. Don't need to cook with that, that, or that, or that. So cooking ingredients, here. Um, seaweed is considered cooking. So is oregano. I mean, I could put some fish in there, but like, honestly, fish don't matter. Lobster, I cook with it right now. Uh, anything else? A carrot? No, I got like a full stack, a fat stack of carrots. Garlic? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't have garlic to cook with. Berries? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could. I mean, this is kind of fun. All right, let's see. Let's do what we got. What do we got over here? What do we have? Mm, catch three seafood prepare a four star meal five star meal catch three fish have a daily discussion yeah I'm sorry no catching seafood is hard I'll have a daily discussion with mother uh, I don't want motherly advice your advice is you're not my mom I don't want uh, advice about romance alright uh, romance don't that's the only advice uh, it's never worth it. You can only depend on yourself. Wow, Mother Gothel. Preach to the choir over here, right? Look at this. Oh, she is something. All right. I need to go get some more stones. You coming with or what? 
Where am I getting stones from, guys? I don't know. I should honestly bring Scrooge. Yeah, Scrooge is going to give me, like, double the stone. Dude, getting chests, though, is huge. Because, like, I'm an organizational freak, man. I just got to do it. Sorry, Gothel. Motherly advice, adopt all the cats in the world. Um, that's impossible. Well, what is do- Dude, stop. Okay, this is Mother Gothel's quest. I'm not trying to do it. A McBerry tree, sure. Not caring. I just need you with me. What is he doing? What is Donald doing? I don't understand. Why would Donald do- Is that his, like, his idol animation? There's no way that's Donald Duck's a idol animation. You just gotta calm him down by doing his quest. He's never gonna be that way the entire time. I don't believe that. No way. No way. No, no, no. Did you guys do all of Donald's level 8 quests? No. You gotta calm him down, man. No way. There's no way he's like that. I'm gonna make him my best friend and I'm gonna calm him right down. Donald Duck yells like that nonstop. You're telling me. Alright, well, we better be give that feedback to the devs then. Alright, I mean, we're doing pretty good with like mining over here. Like, this place is pretty cleaned up. Honestly, I just get rid of all the trees and call it a day. Probably leave like one tree out so it can spawn all the uh, the hardwood that I need. But yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of this quick. Oh, thanks, buddy. Dude, stones are so helpful. Oh my gosh, man. Because storage is just so valuable. Dang it. You guys are right. Storage is so valuable. Okay, like we good here? I don't know anything about this area. But I think I've cleared it out. Blueberry bush? Alright. And some garlic? Great. And some blueberries? Cool. Alright, like I think this area, the forest, looks good. I think it's time for a little bit of deforestation. What do you think? You guys good with that? Hey man, it's my Dreamlight Valley. I'm the king. Pfft. I'm the king. Alright, how do I do this? Here we go. Alright, we got a deforestation. And we gotta make crops, man. It's just what it is. It's what it is. You think I need this big rock? Guess what, I don't. This is how we play Disney Dreamlight Valley. We eliminate everything. Uh, everything that we can. I'll leave one little tree. You think I need that bush? Yo, put the bush out of here. Well, I'll grab whatever I can grab. Because remember, on the other side, uh, I don't have access to the... Um, what is it? The mushrooms? Little stumpies over here? But I can grab anything that's over there, which is pretty fun. So, Yo, we're clearing house over here. Ooh, this is Anna's house? Yeah, Anna, where you where you living? What are you living in the forest for, man? Come out with all of us. There's a party in the plaza, and you're invited. Here we go. Hold on. Is there... Oh, what's the zoom out? This is a zoom out. Give me that. Oh, quickly. I'm trying to steal the bush. Bring it all the way over. Okay. Actually, you know, we're fine. We're fine. I'll leave the bush here. Uh, there's a reason why you want to leave the bush here, and I'll, I'll elaborate on that later. But, on his house... Yo, you can absolutely come live over here with us. Like, this is where the cool people are living, right? This is this is a fancy neighborhood. Look at you living right over there now. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, don't mind. Don't mind. It's good. 
All right, here we go. That's right. We gotta we gotta build some parking structures. We gotta build a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. So like this. You think I need this little rock? Guess what? You think I need this? Nope. Landscaping looks good. Good job, Disney Dreamlight Valley team. You did an amazing job making it look like a forest. But now, it's gonna be nothing but crops, baby. <laughs> nothing but crops. All right, all right, here we go. I'll leave a couple trees because you need a couple trees for the uh, for the dark wood. And who put all these benches over here, man? Ugh. Okay, here we go. That's a little bit better. And a dirty counter? Man, who did that? Save the benches? What you talking about? What's this little fern? Get out of here. Was this Fern Gully? Oh, was Fern Gully a Disney movie? I don't remember. I remember seeing it when I was a kid. Wasn't the whole like theme of Fern Gully like not to deforest, like to save the trees? And I'm out here erasing trees. It's no longer the forest. I wish there was a button to like erase everything. Boom. I like the little undo dog. Yeah. Okay, we gotta save some trees. Do we though? Yeah, I can't get rid of those stumps yet. Yeah, look at all that wood. This is great. I can see everything now. Ah, oh, it's so it's so beautiful. Oh, this is the way it should be. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, look at me. I can see through the forest. I can see the forest <laughs> for the trees. What does this say? Nope. You think I need a sign? Nope. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this is our one and only tree here, huh? Nope. It's gone. It's gone now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Taking a look. Taking a look. Here we go. Yo, who put that bench? I swear. Okay, so these nasty little stumps. I gotta get rid of those. I think that's either Anna or, like, Wizard Merlin. Alright, so some things that I want to do is get rid of that path. You think I need that path? Do you guys know that you can hold the X button and just get rid of paths entirely? How cool is that? What's this? Yeah, you see this dirt path over here? Yeah, right. No, you don't. So you see this dirt path right here? No, you don't. Get out of here. All right, great. Perfect. Look at this. Can't do that. You can break that soon. Okay, so I'm going to, for starters, steal this lemon tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. We're going to steal a lemon tree. I'm going to put that over here. Just to see what's going on with this. What is this? Yeah, you don't have permission to be there. These stumps, I gotta work around them, man. This is, like, really hindering me. Don't like it at all. Uh, what else? What else? So, now I can kind of see what's going on on the other side of this uh, forest over here. And trust me, once I'm ready, I'll put all these trees back. Like, I'm not trying to, like, make this non-existent. But I'm just, like, I gotta clear out some space. And we gotta do some farming in the native areas, because the native areas allow for faster growth, as we've learned. Okay, uh, a couple trees, a couple trees. I'm gonna do a couple of them. Where, 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 where can I put trees at? Let's do, let's do a little forest over here, along the edge. Yeah, like, I'm good with that. We're gonna take this cool thing. I should put these like right next to my house. Wouldn't that be awesome? Just have like all the powerful ones like right next to my house. It'd be really fun. All right, here we go. Great, 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 here we go. We're trying to get rid of all of these. My theory is that if I only have two trees in a specific biome, those two trees will give off all the hardwood that I need just surrounding it which is what I've experienced in the plaza a little bit. I would have to actually test that theory, though. Oh, look at this. Revealing all these treasure chests and whatnot. 
so fun. And then once I'm ready, I can redo all of these trees. Oh, cool. I can actually go over here and take this. Can I take any of this stuff? No, not yet. But I could take these little, take these trees for like whatever wood comes out of that. Even though I don't have access to the, uh, the next area. Is that right? Okay, here we go. Terraforming. What do I want? I mean, ideally, what do I want? Where, where is this blank slate going? Um, a centrally located place where I want the wood. I don't want to walk all the way down there for the wood. And there's a lot of stuff happening. Okay, so how about this? We're gonna do uh, the wood right over this way. So I'm gonna take uh, that tree. Move it right next to this thing. Okay, so this looks good. All right, so we got we got like two trees over here. This two trees makes a forest, right? I'm gonna put it a little bit more forward just in case the uh, wood needs to spawn behind it. Okay, so maybe like maybe like three trees make a forest. So it still has its namesake. I think that's fair. All right, good, good, good. Uh, this stuff I can't really deal with it. This I can. This I can. Oh, I can't wait for all this stuff. This looks really fun. Um, but I do want to get rid of these trees because these trees are quite interesting to me. I like it. I like it. Here we go. Beautiful. Good idea. Get the sign out of here. Okay. I can't wait to go over here, man. Like I have this already like terraformed. It's ready to go, right? We're done. Okay, so we have six trees in a forest. Seems legit. What else? Is there anything else that I need to remove over here? There's a lot of these weird little stumps I can't deal with yet. There's nothing I could take over here. There's some weird cave that's blocked by all this ice. And I'm sure like Anna and Elsa would be able to help me out with that for sure. Oh, this is a tree? Yep. Oh, just when you thought I was done. Great. So, there we go. As you can see, the Lost Forest is now the Lost Deforest, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I can take my digging dude. Whoever wants to help me dig, I can do some, some crops, right? Boom. Scroogey. But, I mean, ultimately, we were looking for... We, look at, we were looking for some other stuff, weren't we? I don't mind, like, my, like doing a one hundo crop, like a hundo field, which is perfect, right? Like, I'm, I'm good with that. All right, let me get all this stuff. Garlic, yeah, baby. Oh, man, I am so into this right now. This is my favorite part. Honestly, the quests are fine, but, like, this whole terraforming... And just like moving things and making it how you want it is like phenomenal for me. I love that. Hey, buddy. Okay, fine. Forget it. I don't know. What do you guys like most about Disney Dreamlight Valley? What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing about it? Is it making all the friends? Is it doing all the friend quests? Um, like honestly, like I get burnt out of the friend quests like really fast because I don't want to play fetch quest game. I don't want to go get 25 wood all over the place especially if wood is not spawning for the day like no I, I don't want to do that thank you what are your what's your favorite thing about this Ooh, look see this is perfect i put these trees down and right away i'm already getting that wood yeah dude oh my gosh i'm into it i might reduce the amount of trees i might reduce it just based off of that you like fishing alley cat you love everything no you can't say everything you got to give me something specific here Give me something specific. What are you thinking? What is your favorite part about this game? It's so it's so calming, you know? It's so calming, and I love that. All right, here we go. What else you got? Characters. Who did I say was a digging, a digging friend? Um, Christoph? Christoph is foraging. Ursula doesn't do anything. Wally digs, but he's level 10. I don't need him. Merlin's digging? All right. Merlin, let's go, buddy. 
Now's your time to shine, Merlinda. Okay. All right, what else? What else? Farming? Super Cat Gaming? You like farming? Yeah, I love farming. Like, farming's my favorite. So let's go find uh, Merlin and let's do some farming. All right, Gino, what are you liking about this game? Uh, you like the characters and the level of their interaction? Yeah, I like that too. Um, yeah, I like how they interact with each other. I didn't realize that, like, little story spoilers, but Snivy, the story concepts are actually really good. I agree with you. But I don't like that I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for these white... Oh, it's not happening. This is the one I'm waiting for right here, this one. But I'm not getting any other ones. No matter how hard I try, it's not coming. Is it just super rare? What's the deal? Why am I missing it? Look, so you see, you see how this is happening here? That's because there's only two trees on the entire uh, plaza. And so the one tree puts down six. And then the other tree puts down as many as it can. Luck five, just right off the bat. Freaking love that. So I think I only need two trees for the entire forest area. So maybe I can replicate that from happening. All right, Merlin, we're digging, dude. Let's go. So let's take a look. Um, I'm going to go back into the editor. We're going to go... Um, yeah, we're going to go back into the editor. Furniture. Uh, editor. Let me get a bird's eye view. And then how do I want to arrange these crops without getting in the way of these dumb mushrooms? These mushrooms are everywhere, man. So what's available? So if I made the warp centrally located, like right there, which is fine, right? We have this little entrance to the other area, which is also kind of cool. So I can do some rows. Yeah, I think I could do some rows over here. I'm just trying to think about, okay, well, if this is here, then I need like maybe like a row of 20, maybe like five rows of 20 over here. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's um, let's get rid of... Actually, yeah. All right, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to leave those three trees right there. All right, let's do a row of 20. I'm going to go vertical with it. Although I can, pr I can go pretty far down. So if I do uh, four rows of 25, that's 100 right there, and I'm good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make that our goal for right now. All right, I need to actually go back into the uh, menu one more time. I got to move those bushes. So if I'm going to do that, watch. So this is what I like doing. Feel free to adapt this in your own run. Um, I like to grab whatever um, bushes are nearby. I like grabbing them and like literally putting them all right next to each other and then using those for free stamina as I'm like digging and like planting crops. So just if you put them like two squares apart like this, you can walk through them, right? So now by doing that, I can grab these two little lemon trees. So two squares apart, or I can just go this way, it doesn't matter. I don't wanna block the, the pathway. There we go, done. Here we go. Okay, okay, so that's it. So I've got those that I can harvest at any given time. I got Goofy's stall. I got my warp. Here's another uh, bush. One more. Beautiful. Okay, three bushes, two lemon trees. I don't think that there's any more. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, this is good. That's my, like, restock of stamina. So now we go through and we start digging. Ready, Merlinda? Out of the way. Watch your foot. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. Let me eat something really quick. 
Uh, this is 19. 20. 21. 22. Oof. I have 22. Hmm. Let's see. Do another little row here. A little row -ski. I just need like a couple. I need four rows to make it easy hundo. Okay. But that's not... Ooh, and this one, this row gets stopped by this little stump. Oof. How aesthetically terrible. Oh, man. All right, let's just do 22. Uh, fine. Dang it. I got stumped. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, Billy, what's up with Minnie's quest? What does she have you do? Does she have you grab, like, a million different items all over the place? I heard that later on, like, iron ore and iron ingots are, like, really, really annoying to find. Yeah, I don't want to move that whole row over, but we'll see. Oh, are we going to dodge the stump? No, we did not dodge the stump. I mean, I could do five rows of 20. Well, that's not... No, five rows of 20 is lame because then you can't... Then it's an odd number of rows. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Whatever. We got stumped. Doesn't matter. We're having fun. Although I could move it all over for one. Oh, Minnie wants flowers? Oh, great. I'm good. I'm starting to collect one of each of the flowers. This is good. So guess what? Guess what? I'm going to be ready. All right. Uh, the Pixar event? I mean, there's really nothing to do with it. Uh, I hear you guys asking about it in the comments. There's nothing to do. It's like you collect this currency. There's plenty of time to do it. So, like, honestly, I'm not really... I'm not bothered by it. So, yeah. What do you got? Like a month? How many days left on that Pixar event? We could look at it right now if we wanted to. Okay, here we go. This is looking decent. Yeah, yeah we're doing some work. What is all this? Dirt. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not, like, actively trying to get anything from the Pixar event. I saw that you can get some really fun little furniture items, but, like, right now, I think that furniture items are, like, a waste, and I don't have any motivation. I There's, like, no motivation whatsoever for me to, uh, to start, like, grinding for furniture items. I don't know. I was the same thing in Animal Crossing, right? In Animal Crossing, it was, like, unless I was doing a tutorial video on the on the certain, like, a full item set, like, I can care less about furniture, right? I'm out here, like, okay, I want to make money, I want to make uh, dream light, I want to advance the story, there's, like, a whole bunch of things that I want to do. All right, let's see. So, what is going on with this? This is, like, at least 23. I mean, what I could do is this. If this is, if that was 20, oh, shoot, I would have to count. 24. I can move all of these back a little bit if I wanted to. I mean, it honestly doesn't matter. We're fine. That stump does not matter to me. Oof, that matters to me. What are you doing, guy? Is Merlin the sorcerer from uh, Fantasia? No, he's not. <laughs> Merlin's from Sword in the Stone. Almost though, R really close, really close. Really close, all right, all right, here we go. So remember, I told you guys earlier, like, ooh, sweet. Free blueberries. Oh, uh, dang it. Dude, it's impossible to get them all. Get out of here. The music's still on, though. It's weird. Okay, anyway. 
Uh, let's let's do some farming. Let's do a little bit of farming. There's a couple things that I want. Um, I'm gonna do twenty five of these. We're gonna do twenty five of these. Wow! wow! Uh, let's do twenty five of these. And then let's do 50 of these. Let's do onions, man. Yo, I'm broke. Okay. Uh, who's my gardening girl? Where is, where is she? Does she like gardening or harvesting? What's, what's her deal? Planting is Mother Gothel? Or is it harvesting? I guess it's anything gardening. All right, so let's go find, let's go find mom. Let's go find mother mom. Where the heck are you, dude? Oh my gosh, help me. Stop, stop moving. Yeah, canola is pretty decent for money, I've heard. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna try a little bit of everything. Canola. Oop. There's still nothing better than carrots. So, just throwing that out there. Carrots. Alright, Mother Mom. Let's do this. Why do I have 40 of them? Huh, weird. Oh gosh, that's going to annoy me. No way. Carrots, baby. Carrots all day. Carrots are great because you have access from the very beginning of the game. That's why I like them a lot. Because it's like, all right, dude, you're in? Great. But, like, at the end of the day, it's pumpkins. So, it's the pumpkin game. Like, don't even talk to me. All right, let's eat. Mother Gothel, you got any food? I'm supposed to be a mom. I'm supposed to pack me some snacks. Dude, which biome has the pumpkins? That's what I really want to find out. Tell me. Oh, I just, like, totally took up the space for the uh, other thing. Yo, mama. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Forgotten Lands has pumpkins. Ooh, that's where I have to go then. I have to unlock Forgotten Lands. What is that? How much? Like 7k? For Forgotten Lands? I'll do it. Just to get my hands on some pumpkins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, great. Yeah, and then like what's the what's the offset or the, the amount of time for pumpkins? I think it's like, what, four hours or something? Like six hours? Pumpkins, dude. 15k for, for Forgotten Lands, and you don't even get anything. It's like a nothing. 15k for Forgotten Lands, and then, like, there's nothing you get outside of clearing it out and, and getting pumpkins, right? Oh, uh, what do I got? Lemons? Blueberries? Yum, yum, yum. Oh, you can get diamonds there? Oh, I'm, I guess that's kind of cool. If you like that. But I can go look at it. I can go look at, at what's... Uh, I'm sure there's some good materials over there. But 15,000 is steep. Like, I started this, like, gameplay earlier today with, like, 15... Like, 18,000. Uh, and I haven't been really grinding at all, right? Like, that's a lot. One does not simply, man. Alright, Gothel, move. You're already level 5? Dang, girl! Alright, ooh, look at you! Look at that hair!
Ugh, weak. I want automatic watering. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask the devs at Gameloft? I just want auto watering, where you can just like set yourself up right in the middle and then just like water. Okay, so we got some crops growing here. It's about like a hundred little spots. If I wanted to go hardcore mode, I can easily dig out another hundred. Uh, and then just like keep on going. Put the game down for like about an hour or whatever. And then just reap the rewards, man. I'm into that now. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's do a little bit of science here. Let's talk Let's talk about things. Okay, so ingredients. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we got something called... Uh, what is it? What is it? What are you guys talking about? You guys are really high on what? Canola? You guys are high on canola. It grows in 35 minutes. One harvest. Uh, sells for about 100 a piece. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, that's really good. You get one singular canola every time you do it for 35 minutes. Oh, pff, great. Sounds good to me. I'm into that. Uh, so 35 minutes for that yield. I don't know what the boost is if you build it in your own area. Like, I don't know. It was like 20% faster. Is it half the speed? Is it ever confirmed? I have no idea. I'd have to like plant it and then like put a timer on. Um, so that's interesting. Canola seems to be a, a, a fan favorite right now. So that's like 106 a piece. Yeah. Or 109 a piece. But dude, I want to get pumpkins, man. Check this out four hours dude i'm into that whatever for 664 so like you go out here and then like let's say for example you plant 200 rows of pumpkins before you go to bed you wake up boom you're telling me that that the canola is way better than that no way only if you want to waste time watering and planting then canola is good for you but for me dude i'm gonna be on pumpkin life I'm going to be like, all right, I'll play the game. I'll set my little pads. I'll, I'll make all of my little pumpkins over here. I'll come back in four hours. Like, I'm good for that. That's real cool, man. Yo, pumpkins, though? Pumpkins, four hours. I'm into that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that running around with different plots of land is a big waste of time and watering and planting. And I think it's, it's, it takes a lot of time of you not doing much besides that. It's very monotonous. So, absolutely, pumpkin's the jam, baby. Oof. Is that the biggest, the longest wait? Ooh, eggplant. Uh, not as good as pumpkin, man. Are you kidding me? Yo, dude, I, someone give me some pumpkin seeds, please. Uh, one eggplant for three hours. That is not even worth it, man. Absolutely not. You might as well go for pumpkin for twice as much for an extra hour. Okay, so there's veggies. Uh, I'm looking at this. A pumpkin's the longest one. 33 minutes, 40 minutes on uh, gooseberries on their harvesting, grains, eh, eh, soya, eh, care less. And then Shea Remy stuff. Yeah, what's this, ginger? I don't think you, no, you just find it in the ground. Yeah, spices and herbs. Oh, I didn't realize that this is considered seafood. You can find these on the, on the beach. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's so good, man, the more you know. Uh, anyway, so we've already settled the debate. Good. Canola is a good option. Carrot's a good option. Uh, but the best option is pumpkins. David has pumpkins. Good job. Yay! Yay! Alright, um, next up, I can probably... I can probably dig a couple more rows over here. Just saying. Merlin wants me to dig some more rows and get some other stuff going, man. Uh, I do need a refill on monies. Oh, and look, my wood is perfect right now. Look at this. One. Oh, get out of here, dude. No. One. Two. Beautiful. You know, I don't even know if I need all three trees here, but I'm getting every single wood spawn centralized in one location. What a champ. That is exactly what I uh, observed in the plaza. So that is a beautiful thing right there. Yo, you think I'm going to need a lot of hardwood? Better believe I will. There's some other recipes later on where you're going to be using a lot of it. Okay, so we learned a lot of things today just by playing this game. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm pretty excited for it. 
It's good. It's good, man. One, two, three, four, five. Look, just I just gonna put this game down. Maybe come back to it later on tonight when I get home, and I'm just gonna dig. I'll probably do like a 200 plot over here. Um, so when I want to, I'll have 200 spots for pumpkins, even though it's not native to the pumpkin area. Yo, money making. Ooh, that's the way. I need so much more money. Uh, anyway, okay, I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to save the game, and we're gonna call it a day. There we go. Last game. La last game save done. Here was the event that you guys were talking about. Um, oh, look at this. Cool. Great. Oh, look at that. So you can keep on like, like aiming for this. So there's a Pixar currency that you can get by doing these like duties, right? So sell meals. Like you go cook like one carrot or whatever and you and you like sell it, right? So then you get 25 of those. Once you get those uh, currencies, you can come over here and buy... Um, you can buy all these different items, right? So if I want this Papel Picados, like I can have it. Uh, if I want to unlock the premium route, I can get some stuff. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a motif. I can get Buzz Lightyear spacesuit. Whoa. Premium, I'll get 200 back. Oh, oh my gosh. Premium, I'll get that motif. Whoa, what is that? Is that my super suit? <gasps> Cool. Ooh, you get a little bit back. So it's kind of like a battle pass if you think about it, right? So you grind out this, you get Baby Jack. It's like really Pixar Incredibles based. And uh, I want to say, like, you get all your your little moons back, right? Do the math. 175 plus 800. It's like 9. Here's like... And then plus the 500. Uh, plus the 400 you get like 18 I mean you get yeah so seriously you get like all your moonstones back if you're gonna do the event uh, for 28 days so kind of cool if you like furniture or motifs or something like that but the duties is the real grind you're like all right selling meals how am I getting topazes let alone 20 of them yeah right um, but anyway kind of interesting kind of interesting so um, especially if you guys got the founder pack then you have 20,000 of these moonstones so you can absolutely buy the battle pass um, otherwise not so much. Okay. Well, um, join me tomorrow. Join me tomorrow for some more. You guys want to play some more Dreamlight tomorrow? I'm totally down. Uh, we got a couple things happening before then, uh, such as the Nintendo Direct happening. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nintendo Direct is happening tomorrow. So in case you guys didn't notice that, uh, wake up with me tomorrow morning if you guys are in the United States. Uh, and then we've got, um, a Nintendo Direct that we're going to react to. It's going to be super fun. So be there. Um, yeah, we'll absolutely play some more Disney Dreamlight. Um, in the meantime, if I'm feeling like playing this game a little bit off screen, I won't advance any of the story modes. But what I will do is I will um, like set some crops. I'll try to like earn some more Dreamlight so that it's not me grinding on stream. Although like a grind sesh on stream is pretty cool. It's just me talking to you guys while I'm like making like rows of crops and picking them and all that stuff. So. I don't know. Up to you guys. You let me know what you guys want to see and we'll continue going. But I do indeed like playing the uh, the story mode. I don't like it when then there's a speed bump and it's like, oh, can't progress any further until you do X, Y, and Z. But we're not going to tell you what X, Y, and Z is until you figure it out on your own. So that's kind of lame. No worries. Uh, pumpkin life, though. Mm. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think once I save up 15,000, I'm going to go to the Forgotten Lands. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get pumpkins. But that's a lot, 15,000, man. That's at least like Moana that pays for Elsa, that pays for Ratatouille Kid, the little Remy the Rat, that pays for all of those characters. And you need those characters to boost up your weapons. Or you just go for pumpkins. I don't know, man. We'll see. All right, uh, I'll see you guys next time. You're going to be redirected to the uh, Nintendo Direct stream. It doesn't start until tomorrow, but bookmark it anyway, and we'll be all set. Have a great rest of your day. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to our brand new members that came on board today. Um, and thank you so much for enjoying the content. We got tips and tricks tutorial videos happening very, very soon. Um, likewise, if you didn't see uh, the one video that I put out, it had like 15 tips and tricks on it, go take a look at that. It was really fun. Uh, but I got a money-making tutorial that I'm going to be working on a little bit later. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Take care.